Good evening, everyone. What's up? Hey. I love this series. Monkey Island is a lot of fun. Uh, I honestly don't remember much about the third game. And that's really weird to say, knowing that the third game is not the third game anymore. They sort of decanonized this, but not really. One of those, uh, it's complicated moments. And when they released the new game, they basically said it's the real Monkey Island 3 that they always wanted to make. And then we're like, well, it's it's sort of Monkey Island 3, but it's not Monkey Island 3 because like Monkey Island 3 and 4 are referenced. Weird playing this now is what I'm getting at. So uh, welcome on in, though. I think this is the first time I'm playing this game since it came out and I beat it. How are you doing though? Sonic Nintendo fan, Lord Deramus, Hankosha, Arcade. I love Monkey Island. I remember this one looks really good, and this is the first one that had voice acting. And the remasters for 1 and 2 added the voice acting. So, there's that. Hey, Adam Bob. Surely nothing bad will happen as soon as I start the game, though. I mean, that would be embarrassing. Man, I took a short nap before the stream, and I just feel really, like, dehydrated for some reason. I've got water here, but, like, there, You can never say, chat, that, uh, I'm thirsty for other things. It's, it's only water when it comes to these streams. Here's Monkey Island. Hey, Pyronic, what's up? I think I actually, like, sleep with my mouth open, and I'm, like, snoring or something. I think that's causing me to, like, wake up dehydrated. At least, I think it is. Yo, Sanchez, good to see you. You play these games? I've, I've never seen, uh, Traz actually... Talk about any point and clicks. I tried to get him to play the Australian point and click game, but he didn't want to play it. He said, uh, too offensive. But down under Dan. Hey, Jit. We are going to play on the Mega Monkey mode. Means the puzzles are harder, but I kind of remember what to do. Three different games on at the same time for sports? I don't need them. The New Zealand classic Shrimps on the Shire. Yeah, he would play that. even real? They're, they're probably not. Let's begin. Monkey. Oh my god, why the fuck did they put the loudest sound ever? 
I forgot about this. <laughs> the monkeys are listening. How dare they put the THX sound effect in this game. God, this is uh, weird, the effect they're doing here. I honestly don't remember a lot about this game, so this is gonna be a fun one for me. Hamsters are the new monkeys. Yeah, I would say so. So this takes place after the really awkward ending of 2, and they didn't really know how to end it. And judging by how the new 3 is, um, yeah, I guess that could be said. Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, How relatable. I might have the strength to sail on. I just complaining about that. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. Monkey creek water? If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight <laughs> off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Okay. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? Guybrush, well, please, you're killing me. You're actually killing me here. For all the good it'll do me. Please, stop writing oh, in your my journal. Sweet Elaine, am I cursed to starve here on this ocean? No! Without seeing your face just one more time? Am I. He doesn't even know. Yeah, this is the first one that had voice acting. They do a good job. They kind of stuck with the voices for every character until the newest one where uh, LeChuck retired. So they he handpicked a new person, but honestly that guy did pretty good. But why, why are you swabbing this early? Also, hi. Hey, hey, no, it's just Oh, he died in January. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I mean, he retired before, you know, the new game came out, so it's understandable. He must have been really old. I guess this playthrough is dedicated to LeChuck. That's not a good thing to say, but oops, uh, dedicated to LeChuck. God damn it, Hippo, that almost was longer than the credits. Hippo, there's a, a crowd control stream possibly this Sunday. Died in Hawaii at the age of 81. Fire! He's such a good voice actor. No, oh, Rackus, just in time for the start of the game. It's for the raid. Do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. The animation's I'm really great. I'm washing my hair tonight. 
blast be your hair, woman. Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Damn. Let's just be friends instead. <sighs> Let's face it, LeChuck. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Did Pirates of the Caribbean 1 come out before Darn this did? Because I can believe that, Lay What do you mean? You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Are you talking about the ride? I suppose so. The ride was very popular. Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape a taste of my blade! <laughs> That's a good shot. Ooh, the lass has spirit. -y. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Part 1. The Demise of the Zombie Pirate Lecha. Rest in fucking pieces. Get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! All right. So now that we can play. Is that a leprechaun? No, this is um, someone from this Monkey Island 2, if you're not familiar. He's also in the new game. Avast, you swabs! Prepare for your doom! Um, I forget what the button you is to talk. Bilge water and your mother's dress, you funny! Oh right, that's how this game did it. I don't think I've ever seen a cuter. You have to hold it down. They, they got rid of the verbs. Let's see if you can take this. Stand your distance. I'm selling you these five leather, I'm fine leather these jackets. Fine leather jackets. Really? No, I'm lying. In that case, I don't want one. You know what he kind of looks like in this art style? He, he kind of looks Come like um, Jerry Seinfeld with the poofy shirt. With Let's go with the fake beard. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. Oh, nice. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. No, this ain't Largo. Largo never came back. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize This is the guy with the monocle that we steal and ruin his life? Wood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've oh. become a vicious... The old Flintstones way. You can too. 
Ask me how. Uh, I want to hear about the seminars. Actually, no, I want to hear about the audiobooks. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots. Oh, 12 what parrots? Hell yeah. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases of pirate. I don't know about that last one. Respect on the high seas. Tell me about the seminars. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, "Yes." I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. Well, you we know, I'm glad pirates have support groups. Synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. You don't really have legs, Wally. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Inner child, eh? Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Let's see. Set me free, Wally. Follow me and set I me free. Can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. Ooh, the treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. I don't know about that. I don't, I mean, you probably shouldn't want to buy love. That's probably not gonna go well. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon, some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do nah, you. Nah, because if if you accept someone simping for you, Gnosis, oh my God. then that's kind of a, a sign that they should keep simping. Thanks for that follow. I appreciate it. You haven't got the guts. Yes, Gabrus Swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Hey, good to see you. Try it, Shrimpy. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> Wally would never harm us. Oh, um, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious. Damn, awful. even Guy Rush is more of a pirate than you. I'm not even. I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. There. Oh, there, there. Let's uh steal that. All right. Let's take the ramrod. Guybrush used trauma and emotional damage. It's super effective. Now you remember, we have to ruin people's life. The Monkey Island way is you tell people how worthless they are and how if you steal their stuff, they're just never going to be able to live. And, uh, you know, less than like 10 minutes into the game, someone's life was already ruined. Oh my god, this is so janky. Get 
It's how he manipulates okay. Elaine. <laughs> he manipulates everyone. Guy Guybrush is a manipulative asshole. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. Yeah, you missed me say it earlier, uh, Hades. I actually have only ever played this game when it came out. I, this is my first time playing it since. Alrighty, so we need to uh, do a thing. I don't need to wear a hook. I have two good hands. <laughs> Teeth with plastic hooks? It's hook? not a toothpick. It's Wally's fake pirate hook. I forget how to combine stuff. I don't need to wear a hook. I don't know. Two good hands. Oh, there we go. Let's just click. Man, this game is so different than what I'm used to. We gotta, we gotta read the pirate literature. Piracy, the Lechuk way, chapter one. <laughs> How to get more than 15 men on a dead man's chest. Examine it again. Leg irons or flogging? The age old question. Uh, definitely leg irons. Chapter three. You stop crying, I'm trying to fucking read here, Jesus. Does it really matter? Uh, mermaids. It's a copy of Piracy, the LeChuck way. They're very festive. Oh, the classic helium gig. I, you know, I've never tried the helium thing. Has anyone ever actually done that? Look who it is! It's everyone's favorite talking skelly. Well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. If I could just get my hands on it. It's a horrible skull. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic horse. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the force Forehead approach to piracy? Probably. As I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Yeah, thanks for the follow, Lucario. Evil looking doorstop. Uh, never mind. You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? I love Murray. He's Let great. Me hear you scream in terror. I'm too petrified to say anything. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's ask Is about, uh, the baldness. Bald too? I'm not bald. That goes so far, it's going great. Really high widow's peak. Well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. It's good at revisiting this game. True. And accessorizing is really easy. There's a Murray candle holder that came with the Monkey Island box set that Limited Run made. Yo, oh, I'm jealous of that. I don't ever expect me to play four. I remember four being really bad. Walk around without a brain. Some things no one can answer. I'm going. Damn. Now. Good. Now leave me alone. I what a jerk. Scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> Ma, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. At least I've lost some weight. Let's get Murray. Oh, whoops. Well, I mean, that's the last I'll ever see of him. I can't reach it. <laughs> Come 
Monkey Combat? Yo, fuck Monkey Combat. It's a skeleton arm. Or is a pain in the ass to stream? I bet. Um, it probably is. I mean, I, the, when I played it, it was long before that. It was when it came out. I never... Actually, no. I, I beat it, and then I think I wanted to forget everything about that game, just because it was, it was really rough. I remember it having tank controls too, which was really irritating. It's a sharp cutlass. <laughs> that doesn't need cutting. I'm trying to cut the rope, you dingus. <laughs> Taste cold steel, people can in restraint rope. This guy's been crying for like five minutes, by the way. Poor dude. Yeah, that episode of Spongebob where he's like, I only cried for 20 minutes. Oh, no, the story was fine, but it, it, the game, the whole game was just rough. Everything about it just it was not fun to play. I think everyone else in my family stopped playing the game because it was, it was just so bad. We're firing the cannon again. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! Please just let Wally be happy. Yo, Dalton! How'd the animation stream go? I am so sorry, I was so fucking exhausted. I just... I didn't even realize I passed out for like 15 hours. Dude. That, that would not have gone well if I was there. Oh my god. Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Oh no. Yeah, box chocolates. Yeah, that stuff is disgusting. Even for a pirate. I, I don't think I've done that in a very long time, where I've just been so exhausted that I've just know. missed that everything. Seems kinda creepy. What what happened? What? What are you what are you freaking out about? What what's happening? What's happening? What? It's already out? Next Tuesday. What? Dude, I realized that too. Uh, glory. I was like, dude, we can't skip this. And then I, like, blacked out. I don't even remember falling asleep. And I was like, what time is it? It's it's really dark. And I was like, oh. I have no place to plug and then right after I messaged you and said, oh, shit. I, I just passed right out again. A beautiful high-capacity washer and dryer combination. I was like, dude, we can't I skip this. I mean, I'm down to do it tomorrow if you want to do it. Unused comb. I hate to think what that comb's been through. So, uh, Dalton, I gotta ask you about the animation style. Do you like the animation style here? I feel like you're probably a good person to ask. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. It's a bottle of sparkling formaldehyde. Good year, too. Sparkling? Mm, no. You have the flotation device. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. Best looking game in the series? I'd say so too. I think the style is timeless. I think LeChuck needs it hey, more Endless, than I what's do. up? What did you say it is? It's like the full DLC or Is that a vacuum cleaner? Why does he have a vacuum cleaner? Luker, unsanitary Luker. <laughs> Filthy lucre, really clean lucre, or really, really unclean lucre. It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. Not a very big pile, that is an even bigger pile. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Ooh, Some wooden treasure. nickels. We want that. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. It's a diamond ring. 
You gotta introduce Monkey Island through Escape. Oh, jeez, I'm so sorry. Did you play the PS2 version? Because I heard it was even worse. Well, if only there was some way to get out. It's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. So obviously we do what any self-respecting pirate would do. Uh, you use the diamond ring to fit through the porthole. Diamond is the, you know, the cutter. No self-respecting pirate would use the flotation device, he said. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever! Is I mean, I had the PC there? version, too. Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well... Yes, guy. It was bad I enough that they retconned it, obviously. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler. A rogue. A wanderer. A man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always guy brush, me. stop babbling. I'd watch a movie if they made a movie in this art style. Marry me? Like a two-hour oh, Monkey Island movie that looked like this. Brush. Oh. Wally? You're alive! How did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. Uh -oh. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I gotta be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. I love how his little flotation, flotation device to flee. Guybrush! Uh... Oops. We've ruined two people's lives in the intro for the game. Oh no. And LeChucks, I guess, if you count him. She's not going to be happy about this. I'm sure it's fine. Elaine? Honey? I didn't know there was okay? a way for. Can I get you anything? I'll just start lifting that pirate curse then, huh? In his defense, he didn't know. No, in, in his defense, he's, got to change your back he's Guybrush. She must weigh a ton. Uh, hey, you can't say that, guy, brush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I wonder how many carrots she. No, no, bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> All right, let's look at the glowing ember. It's a glowing ember left over from the battle. Dude, that is such a chunky chicken. Uh, I haven't done that old sideshow routine in years. Ouch! I still want to know how heavy Pyra is. Like, damn, she thick. The game makes fun of that, that she weighs a ton. And, like, she thick. Like, you can't even, like, lift her. I, I want to know how much Pyra weighs. Does she weigh, like, a few tons? Because she's a blade? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Feral chicken. It looks dangerous. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Plunder Island Feral Chicken. One of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. Hey! I don't think you, so. You can't just grab chicken like that. What are you doing, Guybrush? Did Guybrush take his shots? What kind of shots? They just casually announced the new Xenoblade Amiibo today. Yeah, Lonely was freaking out about that. Uh... I wonder if they'll actually do anything in the new game. The Amiibo. Oh, it's just you again. Well, I guess you gotta get them. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. What if I want? Turn back. 
Turn back! Darkness will envelop you! <laughs> Wish I had an evil talking skull. How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. I don't believe you. All right, it was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just thought yeah, I... Yeah, Murray's real scary. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. Dude, I can't wait for the Dalton Draws episode of Murray the Talking Skull. It's, it's just like one minute. <laughs> Not even... It's probably like ten seconds if you speed it up. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth. Murray's underrated? No, he's not. Everyone loves him. How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. I love it. You just keep talking to him. It's there, great. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. It's Tri Wolf that doesn't work today. How you doing, by the way? You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just the. You're like, wait, he's actually he's playing a pointing click for once. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them. And you know, one of these days, Wolf, I got to replay uh, Toonstruck. Would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. I don't have it archived, and uh, it's a really good game. Even if it doesn't really have an ending. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Moving. Oh, like, I know a lot about Ooh. lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a. Good luck skull. with the move. I hope it. Maeve is all right with it. I'm sorry, it's been a rough day. Do most MMOs even I'd have like endings? To stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. Some of them, yeah. I think Fantasy Star Online had one. Ooh, free glue. Let's eat the paste. I'm not that hungry. You're not gonna say anything about eating glue? Dude, everybody knows glue is one of the most delicious things ever. Food at all? I don't need it. It's hey, just it was, a toy. It was useful in the last game. How cute. A paper voodoo doll. Consoles are packed, aside from Switch. I mean, yeah, you don't really need to pack the Switch. It's something you could just plug and like take on the go it's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue i think we could pull on that but i think there's another item here there we go yeah. what a relief <laughs> that's a good gag i forgot about that <laughs> That's a real good, just random cutaway to someone we haven't even met yet. They're just like, oh, thanks. Admiral Sweetums bit o jerky bubblegum. Five cents. I think we can get this. Yeah, we have bag of nickels right here. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. It's the alligator's tongue, jerky, and it's still moist. What, the, the gum? No, that's just wrong. I talked to the gator. It's stuffed. Oh, that's fortunate. Hi, voodoo lady. Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Oh. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. 
بعيد Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to Blue Lady's always a cool person. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something better in autumn than a winter. Chat, what do you see me as? A spring, summer, a fall, or a winter when it comes to fashion? I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was- A winter! A I take offense to that. Eternity is a solid Summer. gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. Perennial? What does that even mean? Elaine. I guess I'm a winter. Don't worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Uh, I just remembered something. I've got to go. You did all seasons? remember to I guess. the giant solid gold statue of your girlfriend from all the other pirates on the island. Well, not exactly, but, uh, you know, I... Go, Guybrush, hurry, before you- Guybrush. You dumbass. Elaine! <laughs> I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. It looks like I'm gonna need some more help. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. He did finish you know judgment. Her? Not for certain. Did you I really like the plot? Because I did too, especially like that final fight. It's really good against uh, the mystery the person. No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here. Oh man, they're incredible, especially when you get thrown out the window. That's so cool. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Uh, whenever I get lonely a ring, I'll be sure to use the two months' salary rule. What? No, I, I didn't say anything. No, I didn't say anything. Chat, she doesn't know. Hmm... Isn't there a more budget-conscious way to lift this curse? You should be able to do it with virtually no out-of-pocket expense. Perfect. How? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon hey, Slappy, what's up? quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place... Me and Lonely were actually talking about rings yeah, today. I forgot I was even playing this. Um, so we have a store near us at the beach that's uh, the Toe Ring Emporium. Yo, d does anyone fucking wear toe rings? Cause, like, how, how do you have a store that just sells toe rings and stay in business? They sell other stuff too, but like, it's the Toe Ring Emporium. I gave her a cursed toe ring. You'll never, you'll never believe what happened. She turned into a statue. Die? D did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It I sell toe ring and toe ring accessories. I tell you what, Bobby. Power greater than any other. I've seen a piercing place uh, near us, and I had to check if they did anything. Not that I was gonna do it. I'm, I don't do piercings. I was just curious. I'm like, do they, do they do like anything? Uh, yeah, they did anything. They listed it on their side. I was like, oh damn, that's kind of cool. Are you one of those weirdos who wants like the Prince Albert? Uh, you could do it. 
I won't do that. Nope. <laughs> the thought of it, just like, nope. Blood Island sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived Reminds on a D &D three story. different <laughs> islands in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still an escrow. That's good. Who will be the game's only female character? Dude, Elaine already exists. But who will explain away gaping plot holes? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. <sighs> well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Okay. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got yeah, none of that ever goes Island, wrong in Monkey Island. When has in Monkey Island getting a crew ever gone horribly wrong? I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. In a group of coworkers that do scenes, everything. one of them is You'd be a group of murder hobos. Ooh, that sounds fun. I always like hearing about people's D&D games. Yo, sweet candy, what's up? When I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. What happened to the last two crews? To escape alive. Well, the first one didn't do anything. They literally did nothing. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so. The second one, um, I think we didn't really have so much a crew, so much as just every once in a while we travel with like one or two people and we get screwed them over. You will return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. Oh well, they did. They did predict that we did go back to Big Whoop in the newest game. How can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. Yeah, it's more that he Guybrush is just so incompetent that like nobody wants to take him seriously. So if someone becomes part of his crew, it's just like, come on, help me. And then they're like, eh, not really. I'm just going to go take a nap or something. And then he just says, fuck this. I'll do it myself. What makes you think LeChuck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. The Chuck has found his. To perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. It's what he does best. He does do a pretty good job at that. When you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. What island is this, anyway? You have landed on... I'd watch Monkey Island in Infinity War. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Oh. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a Dude, what are the slippers she's wearing? Look, they're like snakes with little, like, tongues sticking out. What about this giant chicken business? Ah, yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Oh, no. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. That's you, Guybrush. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. What about the cheese milkshake? Yeah, I did that, Cyanide. Uh, it was for charity. Bear Pig of Plunder Island. The infamous Bear Pig of Plunder Island. No, even more hideous. It was El Pollo Diablo, the giant demon chicken. 
tall as a man and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. So interesting thing uh, with El Pollo Diablo. So that was actually supposed to be in the game. It, they actually cut that. No, no, no. Wait. Don't so tell he's me. not in the game, unfortunately. He's establishing a new pecking order. He roams the island, exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the truth. Unholy coleslaw. To, to me, all coleslaw is unholy. I don't like coleslaw. Coleslaw is not very good. I'm sorry, it's, it's just there's no such thing as good coleslaw. Yeah, right, whatever. It's too wet. Elaine is governor of this island, too? Actually. Tar always here. Good to see you. How's it going, Tar Six? Comprised of melee, booty, and plunder island. She moved to her fort here on plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her booty island mansion. Well, how did you end up on plunder island? I realized that my Just location up. in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island. I just said I could see the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. Thanks. I've heard all I needed to know. Fair enough. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Oh, I would love Does to. Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. I want to know more about safe hair replacement. Ooh, safe hair replacement system. I can imagine. You did suggested you the streams. The oh, thank you. I, saw you. I sure did. A really cool. You sure likes these streams. I wonder they're, what happened. They're nice and chill. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter. By the way, Guybrush did become a legendary pirate canonically. Uh, Dalton, I know you were playing it recently. High five. Uncharted 4 has Guybrush in it. I want to know more about variable rate mortgages. Bad He's idea. just kind of there Though as a legendary pirate. First time homeowner, the rate reacts wildly to fluctuations in the market and can work against the buyer over time. You're best off starting with a 20% down payment and a variable rate mortgage, then refinancing at a fixed rate after one or two years as the market warrants. Could you repeat that? No. EV and VCR repair. Buddy, let me tell you something. This is a very dated thing to ask, but also Lightning Fast VCR does a really good job at fixing Mr. Plinkett's VCR. And TV and VCR. It's taken them years to fix one VCR. Make more money? Sure, we all do. Stick to pirate. Oof, oof, for TV and VCR repair. And I want to know more about the Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl. Really sweet guy, not at all as bloodthirsty as they make him out to be. Shorter than you might think. Okay. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. I love how she just can leave. Are his tech skills that bad? Yeah, yeah, look, they're pirates in this world. Do you really think a pirate knows anything about that? All right, so we got uh, a bunch of different places we can go. Welcome to Puerto de Pollo. Mm, no. The Barbary Coast. Ooh. 
we are looking for one thing in particular. I don't think this is the right area. This one? Cabana boy. This guy just looks like he's not having a good time. Uh, I don't think we want to be here. Oh, this is the right place. Okay. How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy. My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It yeah, sure has a foul mouth. Pickle. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. Is it good? Is the lemonade good? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Ew. Wow. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms. I do hate Including, scurvy. But not limited to gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of Rip Gary Coleman. Was this Gary Coleman that voiced this? It doesn't sound like him. Of old wounds, Is it? Diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No. But it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. I don't think this is Gary Coleman. What's the lemonade good for? Drinking. Oh. Okay. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. There you go. Have your wooden nickel. Get fucked. You got scammed. Hey. There's no bottom to this mug. Yeah, it's bottomless. Give my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you little. Thank you. Come again. What a fucking asshole. It's a mug with a hole in the bottom. I love the bell is the Monkey Island theme. The dun 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 dun. That mug's for paying customers only. Yeah, I paid, asshole. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. Harmful or fatal? There's so many plaques everywhere. Bush. A pristine example of one of the many decorative bushes used for landscaping Plunder Island. Decorative bushes. Danger Cove. Anger. Danger, do not enter. Plunder Island Naturalist Society Nature Trail. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana. One of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Oh god, I never want to try ipecac. You don't know what that is, it's just stuff that makes you constantly vomit. Blonde Beard's Chicken Shop. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. God, this island has a walkthrough for their, uh... Like, they don't have a drive through they just have a walkthrough. Uh, hello? I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Can I take this? Sweet. You never know when it's going to be useful. It's as thick as gravy. Ew. It's an old crow's nest, converted into a sign for the chicken shop. Uh -oh. What?
Okay. Let's go to... Let's go here, into the theater. We can sneak in here and uh, look through the pirate coat. Looks like a nice coat. With just a few flakes of unsightly dandruff. Hey, the dandruff adds Looks character. For me. That's weird. I didn't think dandruff moved. Oh. Hey, Mew. What's up? Welcome to Monkey Island. Ooh. Just picked up the lice with his bare hands. Oh, my God. What a bad idea. There's a glove in here. Take the glove. Also need this. Watch me make this disappear. Remember, if it ain't glued to the floor, it's mine. That's the adventure game. Basically, the way all adventure games work. So uh, let's let's try this out. Nothing up my sleeve. Presto! Hey, it worked. Inspired, happy, and excited for today. Nice. Well, that's exciting to hear. Very chill stream today because uh, we are playing Monkey Island. It's an old travel trunk. It's covered with stickers from many faraway places. It's very mod. Donkey head. It's a donkey mask. It's some goofy drama masks. Those drama masks are pretty uh, goofy. I wonder if there's a part in this play for a dashing rogue pirate. Blood Island sticker. Hey, it's a sticker from Blood Island. It says Blood Island is for bleeders. A message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. It's a good slogan. Maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. Just some fake swords. Can I get the fake sword? I need a prop. Oh, come on, Guybrush. You're no fun. He's got the real thing. Do I? Is it still in my inventory? It's not. All right, let's go to the Barbary Coast. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast. I remember Where these guys. The haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys? Oh Are shit! Fun? I forgot this guy was in this game. Term. That's um Buccaneer Scrooge McDuck's voice actor. Great. Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, old one. Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. Rest in peace, Alan Young. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Chad? girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second. Did I just share too much? You certainly did. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush. Let's go talk to everyone. I see, and I don't care. I'm a mighty pirate. Ha! What do you mean, ha? I mean just what I said. Ha! If you're a mighty pirate, then I'm bold. Damn. I'm mighty enough to defeat LeChuck twice. LeChuck? Ha! Even if he's dead, there's just no excuse for that hair. So you're a ship captain, huh? Not just any ship captain. Don't tell me you've heard of Captain Ronnie Rottingham. I've never heard of Captain Rottingham. I'm only the most cunning and well-groomed captain ever to sail the Caribbean. 
Well, how'd you like to join my crew? Me serve on your crew? Please don't make me break into hysterical laughter while this buffoon is working on my hair. Why don't you want to join my crew? I serve on the no man. Oh, boy. Now, Oof. just one second. If there's any treasure to be found, I'm going to be the one to find it. Yo, Danny Games, what's up? Absolutely stunning. Where are you guys doing? streaming today? Well, I didn't want you on my crew anyway. That's your loss. And boy, lose the ponytail. It's so last year. Hey, it's all piratey. Did you know you're starting to go gray? I most certainly am not. Uh, don't get me wrong. Gray hair suits you. It doesn't... I mean, of course it would, uh, but uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. Rock Band and Forte with bonus characters. What, is, what does bonus characters mean? Oh, oh, both characters. Okay. I misread that. How are you doing, though? I'm sorry you were playing that. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. You've got a bald spot starting here in the back. What? So are you going to play the sequel next? If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. You seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world. Twice daily. Yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. Your petty jobs and insults mean nothing to me. They're doing great things with dandruff shampoo these days. Guy Rush is such an asshole in this game. Me, I forgot. Boy. This is probably his rudest yet. To defend my honor. Fire! Run for your life! I'm sure the authorities probably have this. Guy Rush is the kind of person who gets on a pirate no, ship and says out. there's a bomb oh, on the pirate ship. Because, you know, they didn't invent airplanes yet, so. He's gonna be that guy. Rabbit dogs are on the loose. Get out now! I don't hear anything. There are no rabbit dogs on the loose. That's just what they want you to think. There's an axe-wielding maniac at the door. Flee! Perhaps you should offer yourself as a sacrifice. He probably set the, the bomb himself against like another guy you know. Guy Kazama? The calls are coming from within the barbershop. You must get out immediately. I have no idea what you're talking about. Leave us alone. Storms are coming. Better get a move on. Could be a twister. Then I'm most definitely staying inside. The humidity does horrible things to my hair. Captain Rottingham, you're being paged. Take a message. No convincing this guy. You know, sitting down for too long can be unhealthy. It's a serious risk to your cardio. So is that crossover with the RBC? What are you talking about? I, I know it's the Retro Book Club, but like, what are, what are you guys doing? Go away. You seem busy. I'll come back later. Yeah, Mew, if you've never seen a Monkey Island game, the, the writing is extremely good. Ah, hands off that comb, or I'll have your bangs, you thieving dog. Let's talk to Barber Pirate. Hey, J Rock, what's there. up? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pie. Quiet. Red. Huh? Last alert was your pick. Good choice, good choice. Aye, laddie. You'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate we. He looks like a true professional. Hmm. I think I remember what I have to do. All right. So once again, if you've never played a Monkey Island game, what do we do? Ruin people's lives. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin, the scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. That's a lie. Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. The lice came in handy? Of course it did. I can't imagine dropping lice. I've never had lice. I probably would shave my head just to get rid of all of it. Like that.
We just ruined that guy's life. We get a counter for how many people's lives uh, we've ruined. It's, uh, I think it's three today. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. Haggis. That's an unusual name. I suppose it is. But Haggis is just a nickname. The given name is heart, liver, and kidneys boiled in the stomach of the animal McMutton. <laughs> oh, so you guys were expecting a girl. Yay. That's pretty funny. Yo, good Jared. Have you played any of the Monkey Island games, dude? You would love them. I, If you've never played them, I think these are right up your alley, dude. Uh, these are some of my favorite games. They really shaped my humor. And uh, honestly, the voice acting is just phenomenal. Uh, if you want to play the first game, what I recommend is uh, the first and second game have a mod you can get. Uh, as long as you own the remaster of one or two. Uh, they came with a way to switch the graphics back and forth, but also included voice acting. If you want to play with the original voice acting, uh, there's something called the Ultimate Talkie Edition. That, uh, it just, like, auto-builds you a version, basically, for, uh, 1 and 2 that just is the old graphics, but with voice acting. They're a lot of fun. It's, uh, they're, they're the LucasArts team, so, you know, it's like George Lucas's like, video game company. They had a lot of fun, uh, with the writing and the voice acting, so... Highly recommend these games. Uh, maybe don't play the fourth one. Play one, two, three, and uh, the other three that now exists. As it turns out, there are two threes. Uh, if you're not following Jared, definitely go follow Jared. He always puts on a fantastic show. So, uh, Monkey Island is about ruining everyone's life. Uh, the more you ruin everyone's life, the, uh, the better things are. Uh, I don't believe it does, Dalton, because last year when I streamed it, I had to... Do that. What is that blue stuff in the jar anyway? Ah, the old comb juice. Tis a fiery brew that's bested many a sailor with her fermented froth. They meant for it to be game three though, so that's why I'm like, it's sort of game three. But like it references the other games, but it's meant to be the third game. How did you become a barber pirate? I spent 10 years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? It was a clipper ship. Ah. Ah, that would do it again. So you started this salon? Aye, but not on the own. I grew to love hairstyling so much, I told two of my best friends about it. And then they told two friends. Aye, and they told two friends, and so on and so on. I want to know more. Tell about me about the safe hair replacement, replacement systems. Ah, there's no such thing. It's no proper to fool with the course of nature. Sure is. Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew of two score men under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the Big most Jake McJuggernaut. <laughs> on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake. Hey Jared, I don't know if you're familiar with the voice actors, but this guy is uh, Scrooge McDuck. Hey, well, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Jared. Is this going to be scary? Because I warn you, I tend to sweat profusely when frightened, and there's still a lot of places I have to go today. I'll edit out the scary parts. Oh, thank you. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. A tremendous chest made of solid gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest. He gathered his resolve, counted to three, filled his lungs... And I, I miss, the uh, fight. Alan Young. The sound of his back cracking. Very the Scottish, but, I mean, he did exactly what you needed. By nightfall, the lot of us were lying on the beach, writhing in pain. Um, uh, why did you set up a system of ropes and pulleys? That would have been the weak man's way out. The pirate Angus McFulcrum had followed us to Bulky Island, wanting the treasure for himself. The weakling used a lever and took a chest, laughing at us as he came. I mean, DuckTales was such an iconic Captain thing. He really made it with that voice. Cussing himself for not being strong enough. Or the mash. Wait, do you want me to mash through all the dialogue, chat? We can't do that. Those sure are nice scissors. Aye, they're my best pair. 
They can cut through almost anything. Why are they in the ceiling? Sometimes I cut hair so fast, the scissors fly from my hands at unbelievable speeds. Oh, the emote? <laughs> Could I uh, borrow those scissors for a minute? Also, so remember, no. if it's glued down, we can't take it. If it's not glued down, you take it. Yes, you never I know. I believe you mentioned that. When I think of all I could do with those scissors. I, the scissors are just that good. Did I mention how nice those scissors are? You did, and it's all true. They're the best pair I've ever owned. And they can cut through anything. Please, let me borrow those scissors. Let me borrow the scissors. Sorry, but no. Damn. How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Australian rules football, the 500 meter book to full of heavy rocks relay. Helping you move and in your face, no holds barred cage match to the death. Have you played Torrance Passage? Um, I don't think you've asked, but I have not. Tell me about this. How about a test of who can hold his breath the longest? You know, Guy Rush can hold his breath for exactly 10 minutes. Highland display of strength and virility, the caber toss. Toss this! Yeah, toss this. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. No, no, that would be pointless. Um, what can we do while we're here? Off that chair handle. Sierra Aloe Classic Goof for the family. Ooh. I might have to. I think we want to keep using this until we can grab the scissors. Ah, keep your hands off that chair handle. Hmm. Ugh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. Let's go grab the scissors. Keep your skirt on, lad. Why does this chair go so high? If a Gaga can't whisper me and I'll send it to you, I do. I'll check it out at some point. I do love Sierra. I've been meaning to play uh, King's Quest 5 and 6 on this channel for a long time. I just remembered I have another appointment. Maybe that and some of the Leisure Suit Larry games. I was going to give you a French braid, too. Oh. We want to talk to the Salty Pirate. He doesn't look very salty to me. Probably oh, plays, there. like, I'm tons Guy of fighting games. Mighty pirate. So... So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name, Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it. It does put a whole new spin on it, I gotta agree. Yeah, Gog has some really good stuff on it. Every once in a while, I, I grab something old from Gog. Uh, Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect. I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. 
Polish Info Network, yes. All of these are things that uh, we've done in previous games. I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure, immense mounds of gold and diamonds, solid gold scepters of power, anything? No. I've got these nickels. We got, we got wood nickels. Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. Uh... I bet I could duty head. Big old bedwetting duty head. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. I got these wooden nickels. Right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. All right. How'd you break How into you the hairstyling hair industry? industry? I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's How are they a quartet? There's only three of them. Me? Just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. I get giddy, and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. Do you really enjoy being a barber? Being a barber? It's a steady income. When did they make Torrent's Passage? I'm kind of curious. Was it one of their later games? Pirate stories. Got any? Okay, here's a story. 95? Started yeah. out as a crewman. And one of the later ones, I would say. Tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter, a diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Don't you mean a sixth sense? Don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. Oh, that's his unfortunate. His senses took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. We left port without a map, guided only by the captain's keen senses. I can't imagine living without taste buds. Do you know how awful that must be that you just can't enjoy food? gold earrings were throwing the captain off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. Did you ever find any treasure? We sailed for two years, and it finally started back to Plunder Island. Rather lose your but hearing than your taste? To doubt him. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to eating, uh, smell is the most important thing about taste. Because it prepares the food for your mouth. pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. How did you know that? I just had a feeling. Oh, yeah, no. COVID sucks. I've been there. Three times. Twice in New York, and then once uh, here in California, because, you know, me and my girlfriend... I, I, I don't know if I can say this on stream chat. We, uh... Share a bed? I know. Inappropriate. 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 But, uh, yeah, so if one of us gets sick, uh, the other one also... Scandal. What? What do you mean, scandal? Like a big race car bed? Yeah, I sleep in a race car bed. What about you? I sleep in a bed with my wife who loves me. Uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much, do you? Nope. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Yeah, I, I luckily am vaxxed. Um, it helps. I will say this. The only time that I really said I'm, I want to fucking die from COVID was like the first time. You know... Second and third time were way easier. Third time was like asymptomatic, basically. Well, we bonded. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a choking pirate. Hi. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing really. 
Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. Hey, Ryan. I Release the trailer for the... I already heard. From now on. Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver. Nah. Maybe nah. It's only got a little bit of spitting hair on it. All right, we will need that. Let's talk to this guy though before we leave. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Of course you are. Okay then. Yeah, this is the you? one consistent thing, Edward Jared, with this series. Helgen. Nobody cares about Guybrush. No matter how Mind successful he becomes, the they're just like, who are you? Edward nah, you made that up. Nobody cares. Dude. So if you couldn't tell by this guy's name, he's Eddie Van Halen. You went from pirating to hairstyling. Why? The music of the sea is something that takes hold of your soul and never lets go. But the life of a sailor is a rough one, and the sea shows no mercy. It was no easy. What's great about this series is a lot of the puzzles are really clever, but they're all about wordplay. So if you think about it, you're like, wait a minute. That checks out. Yeah, you just have to think about it in your head. What would what would be a great wordplay? Like the second game, uh, a lot of people get pissed off because you need a wrench for a puzzle. A wrench does not exist. So what do you use instead? You use a monkey as a wrench. And then it's like, oh, that's clever. Stuff like that is why uh, I like this series. As some people call it moon logic, but I don't know. Through affordably priced sea shanty compilation albums? Uh, no. By starting a barbershop quartet, obviously. Obviously, but there are only three of you. Auditions didn't go as well as we'd hoped. Hey, going, Zirin. We once had a tenor named. We should stream some of the Space Quest games too. Artistic differences. You still haven't explained why you chose hairstyling. Well, we spent so much time coming up with a clever name for the shop, we realized we were going to have to give up singing and actually become barbers. But I still like to think that we're not just cutting hair. That maybe, just maybe, we're teaching people a little bit about themselves. Yeah, I, I'd probably just play the leader ones with voice acting because, uh, let's be real here, it, it kind of doesn't really matter if I play the older ones. I, as much as I am down to die a bajillion times in the older ones, I, I kind of like the ones where at least there's some voice acting and it's a little bit fairer. Are you truly happy with this line of work? I may return to the sea one day, but for now I'm happy helping pirates look their very best. At least until we find a fourth for our barbershop quartet. I bet you this. a ton of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on, I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. We were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. The rattling our phlegm. Filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something was horribly wrong. Uh. Was it some kind of seasickness? In a manner of speaking, we were all stricken with a melody, a diabolical song. Oh no! That shall never forget. La 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 la. Hey, it's the Monkey Island theme. Hey, that's kind of catchy. Aye, all too catchy for a crew of fifty men confined to a ship hundreds of miles from port. No one could think of anything else, and many threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. We returned with but eight of our crew left. The doomed voyage of the Obsessivo Compulsivo will haunt me forever. <laughs> the Obsessivo Compulsivo. I could be the fourth for your barbershop quartet. Uh, no, no, uh, that's okay. I was wrong. We don't need one after all. Oh, Damn. come on, I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. Uh, ooh, chat. Which one's your favorite? There's a monkey in my pocket. I've got a friend in the ocean. Plunder on my mind. 
Wooden Leg, Restless Heart, Silver's Long Johns. Some pretty good songs here. Now, if it were up to me, I mean, a barbershop quartet, probably gonna be down for Wooden Leg, Restless Heart. But everyone wants to hear the monkey in the pocket. It is April. Monkey in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. His stare is blank and glassy. I suspect that he's deranged. Oh, my dear, sweet, merciful savior in heaven. Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now before man and God that you will never, ever again sing in public. So what are you telling me exactly? Let me try out for your barbershop quartet again. No! Oh, please, please. The spirit of music is in me. It's not gonna let me try the other ends. But this is the last time. Oh, maybe you will let me do all these. Hi, Camille. How Once are you doing? My old man spoke to good King Triton and asked, Why all this senseless fighting? Why can't we men express emotion? Now I've got a friend in the great sainted jumping monkeys. What do you think, huh? That was even more atonal than last time. This is what it's like when I sing. Hey, let me try out another song for your barbershop quartet. Am I just not getting through to you, Threepwood? Come on, this time will be great. Trust me. If you insist. Plunder on my mind. Plunder, plunder, how I wonder how'd you get so doggone pretty? Home to sailors, barbers, tailors, and port. Oh, Poyo, your capit mother of all that we as humans I love you cut him off well you're actually beginning to make me physically ill please stop listen to me sing again you'll love it this time I really 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 don't want to no believe me I'm just getting warmed up wooden leg restless heart this one's really emotional I think about this one a lot in the pirate ship but the seas keep us apart And there ain't no eye patch big enough To cover up my broken heart Words I need more words My grasp of the language is not sufficient to describe The violent, retching nausea your singing is causing me to experience I I'm not following you Is that a good thing? Got one song I have left. One song left for you. It's a showstopper. Okay. Whatever. Oh, this one's a commercial jingle. For those cold dark shipboard nights, we've got boxers, briefs, and tights. Made from cotton, silk, or satin. In styles Anglo, Dutch, and Latin. This when one's actually you decent. Don't take a chance. Wearing nothing neath your pants. Trust. Silver's Long Johns. They breathe. That's odd. What? What? You liked it? No, no, no. It was dreadful. It's just that my queasiness has subsided. But now I'm beginning to taste metal and see spots before my eyes. I'm afraid that your singing is so bad that it has caused me to have a stroke. That's impressive. How would you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Uh, yeah, let's I do this one. You big old let's keep calling everyone a duty head. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, 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 there are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. Mm. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. The classic. That's an old one. Come back when you have some fresher material, eh? Did I mention you're a big old bedwetting duty head? As a matter of fact, you did. There's actually a French dub? That's cool. But does the French dub have French Scrooge McDuck? Because this guy over here is Scrooge McDuck. Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually- They got French out? Aladdin. Okay, all right, close enough. That's not the type of insult I had in mind. 
Hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? Oh, please. I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. Yeah, one of these days I should do a GeoGuessr stream with you. You'll be my Euro expert. Every once in a while I see my buddy Oozworm doing it. Kenny is actually Gary Coleman. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier, or someone mentioned it. I thought it was. Like, after someone mentioned it, I was like, I guess it kind of sounds like him. R.I.P. Gary Coleman. Yeah, he, he passed away a while ago. flowers. We just got an Ipecac flower. We also made a path. Snake crossing. Oh. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake? Ooh. Well, this isn't good. Snake beating club, high fiber cereal. So if you don't know this, uh, the joke here is it's like in Monkey Island One. Uh, they put everything you need outside of your reach. I can't see it, but I'm sure it's a nine iron. I can't reach it. Massive man-eating snake. This fantastic reptile is one of Plunder Island's most dangerous and beautiful. God damn it, Gemini! Don't do this to me. I can't see what that is. But I bet it's a box of full of brand cereal. The highest fiber content available without a prescription. Last I heard, they added even more live white mouse flavor. Ooh, live white mouse? I think it's a machete sharp enough to cut through even the largest reptiles. I bet that's a big old stick. The perfect snake beating size. I think those are the jaws of life, which would really help me get out of this snake. I can't see it, but I bet it's Snake Away brand snake repellent. So, of course, if you know how Ipecac works... It's an Ipecac flower. Uh... It is vomit time. Well, I can't use the flower on its own. He's not going for the flower just by itself. Faberge egg? What the fuck? Why is there Faberge egg in here? I don't know how to mix the flower with that. It's a priceless, delicate Faberge egg. Vacuum cleaner attachments. Lots of stuff. Oh my god, there's so many things here. Yeah, no, Ipecac's a real medical thing. You just, you shouldn't... Sausage, eggs, coffee, pancakes, pancake syrup, stuffed dinghy dog, reservation slip, spare tire, naturalist remains, top secret plans... Old phone books, encyclopedia. What's, what's so top secret about this? I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. Nah. Hmm. I have an idea. We're gonna make syrup of Ipecac. Well, the flower on its own. It makes syrup of Ipecac. That seems logical. It's a big steaming cup of joe. Just look at all this stuff. Over easy. Uh, thick fatty sausage patties. He's wearing a little shirt that says I whooped it up at Big Whoop. It's a reservation slip for Blondebeard's chicken. We need that. 
It's got a tread that just grips the road and won't let go. It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys sure are dedicated. It's a stack of big fluffy pancakes. These should only be used for good. Anything about the coffee? Big steaming cup of joe. What you do? Okay. It's syrup of Ipecac, same as the kind used in hospitals. I feel queasy enough just being inside this snake. I garfed it up at Garfield's Nightmare. Oh, I've seen that shirt. I feel queasy enough just being inside this snake. The good thing is we just got a lot of free stuff from that snake. Whew. That sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No. Hey. Uh-oh. Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. That's unfortunate. We kept everything except for just a couple things. It's a good gag. Yo, Dusk Wolf, what's up? What are you doing? Thanks for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope Sunhaven went well. I don't know why you did that guy rush. Thorn. I hope that was worth it. Let's see. That's what I remember doing. Good job, Guybrush. Perfect. For once today, things are going... Well, darn. Oops. Hey. Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. Hey, Pope. It's just floating there. How you doing? Alright, what we need to do now is combine some stuff. We got a dart gun, basically. Hey, world-class pea shooter. But if you put the quicksand in your pants, I'm sure it's already in my pants. it's time we leave this area. I don't think there's anything here for us. Finally, I play a good game. I always play good games. I never ever played a bad game on this stream. I've never played a bad game on this stream. That one Thursday? What what game on Thursday? Do you have a reservation? Yeah, there's El Pollo Diablo. I mentioned uh, they cut him from the game, but that's his picture. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian Stoop. Let's talk to this quiet patron. Uh, excuse me, sir. 
They were doing a gag from uh, one of the other games, if you don't know. It says, uh... He's awfully reserved for a pirate. There's, uh, let's see if, uh... He's awfully reserved for a pirate. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? And so, so the first game had asked me about, uh, ah, Loom. It's one of LeChuck's skeletal You recognize this character? Hi. I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Remember Hi. to smash that subscribe and he complained button. about me checking. In we brushed good, voice actor, journalist and food critic. He mean pirate. Oh, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. Yeah, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. Nah. What can you tell me about Grim Fandango? Anything? <laughs> I don't like to speak ill of the dead. I gotta stream Grim Fandango. Uh, maybe, maybe for Day of the Dead this year. He's dead. I don't want to touch him. You just have a knife in your pants. It's all good. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. What can you tell me about the Reapers? I never played those games. You expected LeChuck? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Manny Caravetto from uh, Grim Fandango. Whoa! This biscuit is full of maggots! Aye! <laughs> That's my special ingredient! It adds flavor! That's just the right amount of exotic flavor! It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. I wish that was a real ship that I could use to sail to Blood Island. Remember this from a game book? Hmm. Must be a good book. This is the greasiest, crustiest, most revolting chicken I've ever seen. Ah, yes. He got our black and Cajun style chicken. A little too blackened. I can't eat that. The fumes alone would kill me. Biscuit cutter. Hi, Pan. Let's look at the value menu. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Two drumsticks and a super slaw. Pretty good. Nah, it's no Jolly Bees. Traditional grog. Brewed the old fashioned way, the unsanitary way. Hmm. Let's try this. That's disgusting. Yeah. Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. Oh, okay. Well, let's grab that. Let's... Give him this jawbreaker. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine. You shouldn't be chewing on a jawbreaker. Why would you do that? From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. I often say I'd like to squish something between my teeth. Yeah. The devil chicken. There's El Pollo Diablo. I really wish he was in the game instead of just 
this this photo. Like you could tell they they had concept art or something for him, and then we're just like, yeah, we can't fit him in the game. Demon chicken, I rebuke you. Madre de Dio, es el pollo diablo. Dun, 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 dun. It's the owner of the shop. He's got a gold tooth. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! Did I? I have. Gold and brown? Gold, gold, gold! <laughs> gold and nuggets and chips! Oh, oh, man. Oh. What treasure trove of deep fried fun! <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever have a dining experience described as fun. Bring you for lunch. The broasted waddle mole. The wishbone sandwich with sweet gherkins. Cheese toast. I'll have the uh, broasted waddle mole. What does broasted mean? I'm afraid. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Maybe if there was a show. Business must be good if you're sold out of chicken. Sold out? I never said nothing about being sold out. Then what happened to all your chicken? Ah, tis a story steeped in terror, marinated in mayhem. There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be, and he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken! The Devil Chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens. They're all the ones on the island. To the wild, to roam the jungles free as nature. So here's my question for you, Chat. Knowing that El Pollo Diablo was actually going to be in the game, uh, do you think he's still a real thing that exists in this world, or no? I, I kind of like to believe he is. For me! But mark this. I'll be ready for him, and a seven-foot chicken... Jamie isn't properly in the game. Once more. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger, Cole. And the first mate of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely, I won't even have time to cook it. Why oh, is that's that? okay. You see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy, and I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're a secretive lot, and I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grog swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. But beware of them. always exist in our hearts. In the arteries, you mean. He's got the disposition of a Is there a SpongeBob episode with that? Where, where he's like talking to a burger and it's like, SpongeBob will always be in your heart. The artery right there. Fogging them. 30 days, yeah. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? To the pirates at Danger Cole. So it doesn't say any more about that. How long have you been out of chickens? 29 days. Weeks. Months, maybe. And it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can dine this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste Why did the game just get really quiet for a moment? I didn't touch anything. Now I got me a craven for me palate pleasing poultry. I can taste it now. The feel of the rubbery chicken sinew against me gums. Why you can chew on the same piece from here to Cape Horn, and it'll never How appropriate, Temporal Wolf. You fight like a cow with that raid. Thanks for the raid. How you doing? Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi! Oh, you are playing Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series? No way! Tell me more. 
Would you like to join my crew and sail to Blood Island? What? Leave me sharp unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beached whale in Nantucket. Just look at what fear that demonic fowl has done to me nerves. Beelzebub is a chump and a cheater and standing between me and the ultimate pizza party. You mean Dante? I assume you're playing with Dante. You're not playing with Raido Kusinoha, who, I mean, he's not Dante, so. Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Hi. I love Good, you're playing the Dante version. Especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgy. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. Mm, okay. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. Hey, does anyone want to eat at this I restaurant hearing about all these... Uh, Amazing ways they prep the food. I'll let you get back to work. Hi. Fit o jerky bubblegum. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak flavored gum. I would try steak flavored gum. And it gets it's kind of right like here. in uh, Willy Wonka. Why, you little scam. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. How many places still give out free maggots? I suppose that's true. Alrighty, we got the tooth. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. Yeah, I would I would genuinely try the seven course dinner gum. Gold tooth is in the gum. Next, we went to uh, inhale the helium. Hmm. Bye. Cool. If you try leaving with the gold tooth, he stops you. Wait one second. See? Do you have me gold tooth? Uh, no. Let me see. You don't have it. Darn, I'll have to order a new one. I wonder where that tooth fell. I can't imagine where this fell. Well, it's here. Ugh. It's the gold tooth. Uh, one of my favorite places in this game, that uh, chicken store. And I, I gotta decide what to do with the gravy from Jollibee's. I didn't even use it. It was delicious, though, when I tried it. Yeah. You wanna get the herbs? Better get it soon before it goes bad. Let's see. Next we want... Let's go this way. All right, chat, you want to see a very dated reference a lot of people are not going to get? 
It's a grassy knoll. Are you familiar with the JFK assassination? <laughs> yeah, they really went there. Gum flavored steak. I, I like the flavor of bubble gum. Too soon? You may say I'm I'm joking. No, they he'll reference it later. Okay, so we have to cheat because there's no way Guybrush can ever win anything. Right, so that's one cheat. Guybrush is just too pathetic. He'll never win anything. Next up, oh, let's see. Oh, this is such a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Won't work here. Don't do this at home. Very bad idea. Spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. Alright. Let's go to the coast. Let's show uh, Cutthroat Bill, the golden tooth. I wonder if he says anything if you examine the grassy knoll. I just, I know later he, he references it. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. I'll need okay. two more sailors for my crew. That's good, that's good. We got one crew member. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It's as I told you, Guybrush. Not until you can best me in the caber toss. Let's Sounds do it. Great, let's do it. <laughs> so, if you don't know, the tree uh, that we had was uh, rubber. I forgot to read that, but uh, sure. not a real tree. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. All right, let's insult him because he's a gentleman. Now there's a challenge to the field of honor. Choose your weapon. Uh, pistol, pistol, or pistol. Oh, that's a tough one. So, we have all these great options. I choose this pistol. Let's do the wrong option if first. You, will you join my crew? The odds of you beating are so astronomical, I will take that bet. <laughs> Again, I prove to you I'm the greatest duelist in the world. It's not gonna matter what gun you choose, because uh, it's not the way you do this. You're almost speedrun into clear this. Uh, I use a guide when I play these on stream because I've beaten them before, and uh, honestly, I just like showing them off. Double checking a guide. Choose your weapon. I like it took me years to beat these games uh, normally. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do. All right. 
Banjo Duel, you ready? Is it really a duel if you're not doing dueling banjos? Okay, this is four, three, three, two, or three, three, two, one. I wish I had a banjo. All instruments are fun. Three. Three. Five. Two. Three. Two. There's three, three, five, two, three, two. Is that right? You're pretty good, boy. Let's see you follow this. You can't beat Eddie Van Halen, though. In a guitar duel. He's good. I'll never beat him. No, so, let's cheat. shot my banjo you can't be sure of that that shot may have come from the grassy knoll there it is i told of you i fucking out. told you they made a jfk assassination joke so i completely misjudged you it was you a, the grassy knoll after all i'd be proud to join your crew great i'll just pack this it was the second shooter and give me back my gun and yet they've still never well, solved the jfk assassination it. all these years later we still don't know exactly what the deal with that was. Meanwhile, off the coast of Plunder Island. A barrel of grog and a chicken. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... It's, it's some kind of footwear. Hey, those are nice boots. Lizard people? Oh, yeah. Hot? Ow, 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 ow. The lizard people had nothing to do with JFK's assassination. Uh, I mean, lizard people aren't real. Hmm. Nico, aren't you a dinosaur? I don't know how to feel about you saying that dinosaur people aren't real. Or specifically lizard people. I mean, they do control the government. Alright. Let's go back.
We got some unfinished business here. You can see they're, they're rubber trees, so. Hooray for cheating. Another rubber tree. Alright, that is important. A little rubber plug we will need for later. They're not real. Are you a lizard person? Anyone in chat not a lizard person? What is this global shush emote? When did they add this? I've never seen this emote. How long has this shush emote existed? What? Did they just add this emote? I don't ever see them adding new global emotes. Plug is all pasty now. You've never seen that either? Can't remember when I first saw this. I've never seen that emote used. Lizards! Hey boys. We went to Jolly Bees in game. Quite good. Perfect. That will not cause any leaks whatsoever. Love me some Monkey Island, though. Happy to be playing this. Alright, next up. What a good series. Uh, dude, I love Monkey Island. Hey, just watch out for the sharks in the water, Guybrush. Older, older than 2020. Oh, the sus emote is great. The fact that there's a global Amogus sus emote. Hmm, that's not odd. Well, I'll never be able to pick that up. Only there was some way to get up there, like using a bread knife. Man, I would never be dumb enough to grab this floating I plank. plank. I mean, like, it's right next to the sharks. All right, now that we're up here. 15 men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? Uh, Ensign Guybrush Streetwood reporting for duty, sir. Huh? Hmm. You don't look like a member of my crew. Honest, I'm the new guy. I haven't heard of any new recruits. I'll have to check that out with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate. And my captain? Scourge of the Seven Seas! The Dread Pirate! Legit! Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Lecho! That's right. Captain Lech. Lecho! Captain Leche! Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered. Or you can walk the plank. I'll take tart and feathered. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. 
It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, monkeys. Then? Shall we make him walk the plank? <laughs> What's that, Captain? Pens. Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. <laughs> There's the tar. Where's the feathers? That'll learn ya. It's impressive. Uh, my hands completely free of tar. So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, I can't imagine how much work it, it would take to there. get rid of all the tar and feathers. Okay, bye. Yeah, I see what's up. Just got tarred and feathered live on stream. Long time would be pretty painful. Well, since there's no uh, El Pollo Diablo in this game, let's go be El Pollo Diablo. De Dios, es el pueblo diablo. Um, let's see. I don't think any of these answers actually matters. Sí. Si. He deado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Impressive, he knows a lot of Spanish. You're not taking me without a fight. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. It's the Dread Pirate Le Chimp. I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain Lechimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. I'm just a tiny little fly. Lechimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What? With the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. Ooh. So, uh, let's see. The A, V, C's of ventriloquism. <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's, it's so rude of him to do this. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I didn't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? Oh, no, 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 no. You're no, doing a great job. We all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir. But I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. The whole eyes open. Follow the path to the X. Southeast? I, I couldn't read that in time. Okay. Okay. 
Let's open the porthole. Time to swim back with nothing but a plank. Entirely covered in chicken grease. I that's what Pulse XP is like. Covered in chicken grease all times. He's doing a uh, grease con right now with some of the uh, his buds. Well, he's from the land of Greece. That's Kentucky. That's where they, they make all the chicken grease. No animal greasier than the chicken. It's locked because the performance has already started. Hey, we can go this way. Is there anything we could do here? It smells like something's burning. It must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. Classic 17th century He's wiring. Been monkeying around with these controls. Let's see. We gotta press these buttons in an order. I would, if I didn't have the solution, I'd be sitting here forever trying to figure this one out. Hey, look, Sam and Max. That's it. That must be where Elaine is buried. And now, the moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? That is some pretty good juggling. He's doing it with daggers. Thankfully, we have this chicken grease. It's all over everything. Everything in the inventory greased. Uh oh, it looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Oh, that's my favorite part of Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got the, um, got the girl in the end. Ray. Right, let's go on stage. Well, at least that one monkey liked it. I guess they changed the end of Romeo and Juliet. I don't need a plank to walk. Nah. Is there anything we can do with the balcony? It's Juliet's balcony. Prop tree. 
Fake trees of this genus were often used by early settlers for theatrical productions. Oh, that's good to know. It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. Hey, trombone dad, what's up? This time you can monkey around. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest. For now. Okay. All right, that's Elaine down. I don't know how we got Elaine all this way. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh-oh. Quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. Uh-oh. Yeah, his design in this game is pretty cool. He's got a flaming beard. Alas, there, you lovers. Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It will be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffering sailors, tis good to be dead. <laughs> use the robo. Let's go to the beach. Time to uh, go to the cabana. You want to see something nasty, chat? I remember this part being a little bit nasty. As if the vomiting snake earlier wasn't too nasty. Let's talk to the cabana boy. Yes, may I help you? Exactly the kind of voice you expect this to have. I've just been in a rousing pirate battle. Mind if I tell off? Sure, but... Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swapper size class at two and... Ooh, four. swapper sizing. Over, the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Yeah, it happens where I live too, don't worry. Kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? Must be European. You see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Why? You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea, and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Oh, that's unfortunate. Good day. Well, let's, let's see what else he says. Hi. Yes. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then there's the credit check, references, family history. Oh yeah, I've got good credit. And the written test. Written test? Why do you need a written test? With Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball you. Oh. What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other members. I'm sure you understand. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Please, can I join your club? 
There is no way this club would accept you. Sorry. Uh, let me have some of that cooking oil. That oil is only for French frying. It stays right here. Hey, what a good Oh, yeah, Camille, did you hear that? It's French frying. Right over here. You don't sound French, and you don't Camille, do you think uh, Guybrush is French? I don't know how much you're getting on my nerves. Onion ring emergency. Onion ring emergency. Sorry. That's what Lonely has all the time. She's always craving those rings. No handouts. Please pass the cooking oil. No can do. I'm not authorized to hand out cooking supplies to anyone. Hand me a towel, young man. Those towels are for club members only. How about a towel? I know the secret handshake. The secret handshake. Ever since Thurston the Hook Eddington joined last year, the whole secret handshake thing just got kind of messy. Mm, don't that's understandable. But of course, all members know that. Which I do because I'm a member. He doesn't know that yet. It's me, Biff, from the polo team. My pony's about to give birth. Quick, boil some water and get me lots and lots of towels. Not buying it, Mr. Mangy Pirate. The only way you can have a towel is if you are a member of the club. Gotta be going. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. Let me see that. Oh no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership! I certainly do. Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! Ooh. I must. And perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. This guy just does not want anything to do with us. Luckily, uh, we're gonna ruin someone's life again, as we always do in Monkey Island. Nice fluffy towel. Haven't ruined someone's life in a while. I think we improve the life of the crazy pirate with Lechimp. This towel is soaking wet. Let's give him this towel. Ouch! Okay, that isn't what I expected, but that works. Take the cooking oil. Nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy deep fried food. I tried to get greasy deep fried food from the beach today, but everything was closed. Chicken franks, chock full of processed beaks and waddles. Ugh, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. That would hurt. Right. We need more towels. Never hurts to have more towels. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. The towels are all wet now. Alrighty, let's get going. Holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that. Ever happy. why do you have holes in your shoes? Hi, Tree. We're ruining people's lives today. Would you like your life ruined by Guybrush? Ooh. Oh. Incredibly pale. Ooh. 
would you like to join my crew? Oh no, baby. I'm not a sailor. I make my living off the hard work and talent of others. You're oh. a project leader on a computer game? Oof. No, no. I'm a high powered talent agent. Major stars. We're talking major stars here. Ankle surgery. Oh no. That's awful. Well, let's let's get some uh, good vibes in the chat for Tree, because that sucks. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. Are you sure you don't know how to get to Blood Island? I told you before, babe. I've never heard of Blood Island. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe. I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since September. Oh, jeez. That joke is funnier when you consider what day you play the game on. In my case, it's April. It's been a while. I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Hey, Riffs, what's up? Yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around. But, as you can see, I'm working on it. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. Reheated pizza. Sounds My good. My complexion is a little on the light side. I'll give you that. But soon I'll be a bronze god. You've got the savage pale. Please, babe. If you say any more, I will become very self-conscious. Hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish. Okay, babe? You're so pale, you make snow look tan. Be quiet. Paris, mom, we can take some time off to recover. Well, hopefully you get to release to relax. That's... The bright side of having to get surgery is, I mean, it's not like you're expected to work. It'll probably pay you worker's comp or whatever. If I bleached chalk, it wouldn't be as pale as you. All right. All right. Yes. I'm very pale. Thank you. There. You've hurt me deeply, and you know I mean it. Are you happy? Huh? Babe? Are you happy? Are you happy now? Yes. I hate you. Get me a drink. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido. Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. Someone on this island with some manners. But my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. I don't think you understand. I'm a mighty pirate. Foot injuries are the worst. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the Wait, what's, magic Wait, what's so bad about the other foot? Did you, like, bring me do you have, like, a fucked up foot or something from, like, previous stuff? See you around. Take the mug. Plantar facilitis. I don't know what that is, but that, uh, no surgery needed. I mean, that's good. That's the important part. All right, we got scammed earlier, chat, so let's, uh... You're a grown up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Oh, that you can really hear there. That really is just Gary Coleman. I want my money back. Why was the lemonade bad? I don't know. I didn't drink any. Well, if you're not dissatisfied with our product, I can't justify giving you a refund. I'm sorry, but it's company policy. But Smart kid. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Ooh. 
Ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheat. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Yeah, the lemonade was bottomless. I don't need it anymore. Take the picture. It's full of dye now. Dropped a steel beam on his leg. Oh. Oh, that sounds awful. Here's your drink. Well, get me a mug, babe. Here's your drink. Well, get me a mug, babe. That would get red dye all over me. We're gonna give him the mug first, that's what it was. I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. This mug is bottom. Drink, sir. How does he not feel that? Ah, all those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. Hey, wait a minute. What's he got here on his back? I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. So, uh, you might have heard me say earlier this is about to get real nasty. Um... Yeah. It's oh, it's it's gross. It's gross. <laughs> Again, he doesn't feel this or anything. Are we ruining this man's life? I honestly don't know. I mean Just peel the skin away. Fine. Ooh. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Gross out humor. I think he's fallen asleep. Oh, okay. That's the last we'll receive him. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the let's game. Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. There's one problem with our crew. It might be more difficult than I Besides the fact that the crew is, you know, always worthless in a Monkey Island game. So off of the blizzard. Ah, I don't go out uh, in the sunbathe sea. ever, so I don't really get suntan. Even though I live in California now. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Say whatever you're about to say. You, you have that look. What a glorious seafaring day! It's a pirate ship. Uh huh. We got the outrunner. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey, look, guys, a whale. Whale. Where? Our crew is so that worthless. Ship is on us. Cut throat bill. Break the top sail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lad. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty. Hey, uh, the boats are on top of each other. That's not supposed to happen. Hey, Rottingham. So it's you, 
What do you want, other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It will make a fun paper well for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! Ooh. Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet. And <laughs> weigh 200 metric tons. You know, of course. In a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. Okay. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're in this game, you get a rhyme. A monkey and a uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with a sword. Hey, I Give defeated the Swordmaster. Here, take it. I don't want this map anyway. Ugh. Even he's like really gross. Map? Yeah. As soon as I throw piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. Oh no. Here we go. We're a band of vicious pirates a sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn. There are barbershop chords that all they have to do is sing. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. This part's so fun. They had a lot of fun making this. When he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clap. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned down. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Let's go defeat the evil pirate. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. So, uh, here's the thing with this. Uh, the guy told us the solution to this puzzle, because this is actually a puzzle. He said you gotta rhyme everything on the sea. Alright, crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we'd never shirk. We'll fight you in the harbor. We'll battle you on land. When you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. I'm just gonna do them all. No time for song. We got to move. Do you want to be part of the crew? Courage, we will prove. I I'd be a part of this crew. They seem like they want to have We're fun. I do love roasted garlic. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whack and you can disrespect our singing. We will bring you to a crack and a, a pirate, pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. <laughs> We're troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we gotta rest by measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what we'll polish, and the deck is what we'll mop. You 
Say you're nasty pirates, scheming, thieving, bad bushwhackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. All right, and obviously, you can't rhyme anything with orange. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, Ooh, gee, simple I set. feel a little guilty now. Captain. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, this is a difficulty thing they ask you. They like to have complete responsibility and control for a ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic... Yeah, we, we talked about it earlier when he showed up. Vessels he meets He's really good. Less aggressive ...and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? I love a tough sex battle as much as the next captain. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it just happened to be where I had the X earlier. Uh, help it out is I'd way better. This part sucks. Out. Easy ship combat it is. Alrighty. This part is uh, yeah, grindy, which is weird to say. I'm afraid of getting lead poisoning from the ink. Uh, Haggis? Yes? Never mind. Hey. Let's see, where do I go? We look at the navigational chart. Okay. The pirates have been defeated. How Hooray. dare you attack my ship? So I don't have any rhymes, which means, uh... I've come to plunder your treasure. You oh, yeah, I don't think it's a rhyme. To regret this. Regret this? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Oh, yeah? Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I am rubber, you are glue. I think door hinge rhymes, but it's like two different words. You're ugly. I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Exterminated, um... With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Oh, that's not the right one? Okay. I leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suck. Is that the right one? No? Ha! I've beaten you. I will let you live if you give me your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. I guess I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Hey, at least I showed him in the high seas combat part. Okay, let's try that again. You'd better leave now if you value your life. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Yeah, we gotta beat all these people and figure out the right insults. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. 
with your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. I leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. My craving for peanuts will never be satiated. Do I not have the insult for that one? If this takes too long, do I get overtime pay? Ha! I've beaten you! I will let you live if you give me your treasure. I don't have any treasure. You want a treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. So yeah, this part this is definitely the worst part of the game. You know, I, I was dreading this and I was like, oh, I'm gonna play this. Who are ya? Your treasure or your life? But you got to get the responses, basically. Uh, I can't rest till you've been exterminated. That works. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Just like in the older uh, Monkey Islands, got to fight a few times. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. I am rubber, you are glue. You win! Give me your treasure. Take it. It was cluttering up me hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. All right, so we won once. We have to do this a few times. This guy sucks at fencing. I guess you've learned an important lesson about so this is where it becomes really annoying. Sure have, mister. Golly, I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest, I've got a new business now, and gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. Aw, that's cute. I never He's even got a nuke up there. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? I'm a fearsome pirate. Yeah, well, you may be a pirate, but you aren't a fearsome pirate unless your ship is equipped with the latest in offensive weapons. Like that nuke. From Bob's Big Boar Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. You got these guns really fast. I see that you are a pirate ready to take that first step towards becoming the ultimate fearsome pirate. Today, customer name here, uh, what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Creepsnood, Creep I can offer you the complete line from Bob's Big Boar Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. To start with, we have the entry-level model, the Buccaneer's Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available. The Ouchmaster. The Ouchmaster. The Homemaker Deluxe. The Pain Giver 2000. Ooh, the Pain Giver. Mr. Massacre. Mr. And Massacre. Finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself, the Destructomatic T-47. Ooh. So, can I interest you in any of these models, mister? Well, I'll take the Buccaneer's buddy. You had to take them one at a time. The Buccaneer's buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. Now, will that be doubloons, jewels, captured maidens? My ship's hull's full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough for this model. Would you take my old cannons as a trade-in? Well, I don't know. They are pretty banged up. Hang on while I check the blue book on them. The blue book. Let's see. Okay. I'll have my mom install your new cannon prano. While His mom. It, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hole and pick up your trade in. Mom! I hate this second kid.
All right, back to the pirate's life for me, chat. We can't go to Captain Rottingham yet. This part would be a lot worse if uh, you had it in hard mode. Does he sell cannons that fire his wallies? He might. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah. They're as repulsive as a monkey in an negligee. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. They're not giving me the responses I need, because this, this is always how the insults word fighting works. You have to understand them and learn them. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Oh, yeah. You win! Give me your treasure. Take it. It was cluttering up the hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Booty. There's a pirate themed restaurant uh near us somewhere. I it's like a theme restaurant. I kinda wanna do it once just to say I've done it. Cause I like the idea. Back again, mister? The one the one near um not it's in California, it's pretty near us, driving distance. Hour and a half is driving distance. I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Ouchmaster. The Ouchmaster it is. Mom! Ouchmaster. How is Xenoblade 2 coming along in a spoiler-free fashion? Uh, started Chapter 6 today, didn't do anything. You'd best sail away before you get hurt. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty- Bottomless mug is still there? Yeah! It's bottomless. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. Damn. Heaven preserve me. You look like something that's died. Well, I'm fit to be tied. I don't have the response for that one. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. This floor is just lovely. Don't have the is response for that one. Give. Treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? I feel like if you had to do one battle, I wouldn't have minded this part. How dare you attack me, ship? But maybe that's just me. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Heaven preserve me. You look. Like well, you know the insult, so you should be able to tell me the answer, right? You were glue. No, he's too stupid. He doesn't know the answer. God damn it. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I am rubber, you are glue. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Okay, that's good, that's good. We got an answer, we got an answer. I'll hound you night and day. My favorite color is Battleship Gray. Don't have the answer for that one, but that's fine. Ah, when your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. Dinoflagellates are the cause of red tide. Dinoflagellates are the cause of red tide. Open your hole so I may take your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I don't have any treasure. I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. I'm sorry, pirates. I we don't have treasure. We were the poorest pirates ever. You better leave now if you value your life. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. I'll hound you night and day. Ask this one. Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. 
Okay. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your aggravated. Order alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. We're getting some work. Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. I'm shaking. I'm God damn it. Shaking. I always love the I'm rubber, you're glue. That that's an option. You're ugly, you're stupid. You just say stuff like that. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. At least mine can be identified. Damn. That was just rude. You can't match my witty repartee. Rubber pirate? Are there rubber pirates? I don't know. I would have avoided the volcano had I built Pompeii. Usually choose I give up. No, you, you can't give up. You need the responses yeah, and such. Be the first one to get it. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Games take forever. Heaven preserve me, you look Do like something one. that's died. The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. Wow, that's a good response. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Uh, let's see. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Oh, yeah! How appropriate. You fight like a cow. And we have pretty much all these responses. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Give me your treasure. I didn't want it anyway. Oh, well, it's thank you. Not that horrible curse. What? Only kidding. We're loaded with booty. Booty. Wish I had some booty right now. Back again, mister? Yo, real talk, pirate's booty is delicious. I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Holemaker Deluxe. One Holemaker Deluxe coming right up. Mom! Hmm? Oh, I think I need it. I'm afraid of getting lead poisoning from the ink. Oh, I meant this. All right. The pirates have been defeated. Hurry! Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. It sure can. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Um, I don't have any new insults, so. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. God damn it. Can't use same insult. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. Well, that's a new one. Paper mache. Of all crafts, my favorite is paper mache. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. That's not the right one. Give me your treasure. Well, if I had any, you'd be the first one to get it. 
Arr! All right, let's try this again. How well dressed each opponent is? Uh, maybe. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. I am rubber, you are glue. Oh my God, they don't want to give me the insults. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. When your father first saw you, he must have been- I guess I'll do this one. At least mine can be identified. You wanna give me a new one? I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Then perhaps you should switch to decapinated. You win. Give me your treasure. Yeah, you reeking musty stench soaked freebooter. Hey, don't say I that. That's mean. Anyway. We're loaded with booty. So if you don't immediately go back, uh, you lose your money. Back again, mister? Because you will lose the fight, probably. I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. The Pain Giver 2000. I'll take the Pain Giver 2000. The Pain Giver 2000 it is. Mom! Mom! Real good frame rate we got going on here. Pirates have been defeated. A pirate ship can be hey, it's knockoff Guybrush. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Give me the answer. That much like your fiance. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll skewer you like a salad. Hey guys, it's Killer MC with another insult. I didn't- MC, you fucking distracted me! I didn't even see what the insult was! God damn it! Chat, what did they, what did they say? Actually missed that. How are you doing, MC? How appropriate, MC, you raid like a cow. Guys, go check out MC. They said MC is cool? That's a lie. It's a new one? Okay. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. That's good though. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. Dalton, imagine D's nuts fighting instead of sword fighting with insults. We we do D's nuts sword fighting. You just have to make the worst ligma or D's nuts joke. I'm doing great. Always a pleasure playing a Monkey Island game. Okay. Which ones have we not used? I have never seen such MC, have you played any Monkey Island you games? Would have, but you're always running away. Ha! I beat you. I let you live if you give me your treasure. Treasure? You want a treasure? Metroid Prime. Ooh, oh, I I love the insult beam fighting in that. You better leave now if you value your life. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty pirate. You played the first Don't one. Make me laugh. Oh, they're all really good, except for the fourth one. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Ooh, that's a good one. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance? Insult sword fighting is the same as uh, you remember it.
You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breath spray. That's good. We didn't have that one. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Oh, they're real good. Monkey Island always had amazing writing. That's um I forget who did the writing for these games, but they, they did a fantastic job. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. It's honestly the best way to do sword fighting that they could have done. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Ha! I've beaten you. I let you live if you give me your treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? Again, I'm just I'm gonna keep attacking them. One one of these days they're gonna learn. They're gonna be like, damn. He, he really did just keep attacking us just to get the treasure. I, look, listen. If you give me the treasure, I will stop attacking you. Okay, he doesn't have the response for that. I'll hound you night and day. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. I am rubber, you are glue. Oh, well, I guess the game just gave me that one. Okay. You win! Give me your treasure, you wax-covered swab. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Booty. My booty's always loaded. Back again, mister? One cannon, please. I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. This kid's gonna be loaded by the end of this game. I'll take the Mr. Massacre brand cannon. One Mr. Massacre coming right up. Mom! We got one more pirate to fight. And then we gotta fight uh, the captain, Rottingham. It's funny, I don't mind the insult sword fighting normally, but it's just going back and forth is really what uh, ruins it for me. How dare you attack my ship? Damn, look at the schnoz on this guy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Hunger, touche. I am rubber, you are glue. Also, aren't that great? Ah, uh, they're all right. It depends. I'll hound you night and day. First, you better you stop waving it around, though, Stay. Dalton, Stay. like a feather duster. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Oh damn! I I want the answer to that one. I I want to know what the satisfying thing is for that one. I sent a letter to the King of Portugal, who never replied. I'll skewer you like a sour a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a bone. I think the problem is they tried to make them rhyme instead of be like clever comebacks. You're ugly, you're stupid. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. Is that your face? I thought it was your backside. Oh, that's good. Okay, we got another one. Give me your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. Maybe here's some pirates. Yeah, found one. 
Let's see. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. I think we have like one or two more we need to learn. Killing you would be Give me the answer. Homicide. Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. That wasn't that good. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. At least mine can be identified. That'd be kind of inappropriate to say if you were like shroomy or something. Unga, touche. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. That one is... It was this one. Oh, is that your face? Oh, I thought it was your backside. There we go. All right. You win. Give me your treasure. Yeah, grubby bilge swigger. I didn't want it anyway. Yeah, I remember they didn't do sword fighting in the fourth game. They did arm wrestling, but it's the same thing. But, uh, I mean, the fourth game is still, you know, the fourth game, it sucks. Wait, that's the wrong button. Hey, Kenny. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. Whoa, mister. You've entered a select group Ooh, of Select pirates. group of pirates. You've just ordered the Destructomatic T-47 armor-piercing carnage delivery system with auto-loading and... I've never loading. played Tales of Monkey Island. I don't have it, so sadly. Mom! I know it was a WiiWare game and there's it's on Steam, but uh, maybe one day I'll play it. Oh shit. It's the Destructomatic T47 armor piercing carnage delivery system with auto loading and fax modem. Uh, Haggis? Yes? Never mind. Aye. Let's see if he said something about the stuff we're about to do. All right. Hopefully I first try this. Damn. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud. Well, well, well. Look so like in the first game, uh, Rottingham does... Over that map or taste you have to you have to know the insults. I have nothing to fear from you, urchin. I have never lost a melee. Let's see. Oslo is the captain of Norway. So you have to think what would be the appropriate answer to what you just said, but like from the answers you already have, which I always like that. Hmm. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. That was not right. I give you a choice. You can be gutted or decapitated. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. That's not the right one. I thought it would be the right one. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. At least mine can be identified. Your mother wears a toupee. Uh, yeah, well, you're bold. 
At least mine can be identified. No, none of these insults? Oh, jeez. You'll find I'm dogged and relentless to my prey. Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. I can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated. Um... Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. My attacks have left entire islands depopulated. Hey, um... With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. I guess them. Your lips look like they belong on the cash of the day. It's the boneless when fillet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. My skills with a sword are highly venerated. Hmm. I don't think I have the response for this one. I'm thinking I'm like. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. Now get off my boat before I maroon you on the island of clumsy dental assistance. Oh no, not the clumsy dental assistant island. What do you want, Monsieur Thropwimp? Thropwimp. Give me my map, you fiend. I've nothing to fear from you, urchin. You'll find I'm dogged and relentless to my prey. You already know the answer to that one? Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. Your lips look like they belong on the cash of the day. We know that one as well. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Um. Formaldehyde? The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. Oh, that was right! Your mother, where's that to be? If this takes too long, do I get overtime pay? I love that he's never confident if you ever get the wrong ones in these games. Your stench would make an outhouse cleaner irritated. Hmm. I don't know. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. Wait, why was that right? What? I can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated. Oh, well, we already know this Your one. odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and... Yeah, no, I don't know. It, it worked. Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it! I have been defeated in battle! So give me that map, take your ship and skedaddle! You win, you win, you'll get your map back! You were doomed from the start, you kleptomaniac! Alright, alright, I give up already! It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady! Merci! I beg you, no more insults, please! Your smell and face remind me of- Can't tell if Guybrush was a smart person or not ever. Cause like he has good wordplay, but also he stole all his lines. Now we can sail to Blood Island. He's not smart.
Got that skin map back. And the bedrock is like you stop by. We've got to keep her on course for Blood Island. Man, Helgen! I'm doing all I can here! Argus! Lend a hand! I'm barely holding on myself, mate! Oh, I got this when she's the devil's <laughs> own! Terrible crew hire. Whew. I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Typical. Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It was a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Poor guy, Brush. You say anything else? Uh, Haggis? Aye. Mutiny's a big step. Are you sure you won't reconsider? Yeah, it was a pretty alright mutiny. They're like, yeah, you, you know, we're gonna mutiny if that's okay with you. Are you sure you don't want to be pirates again? They get to keep the cannons? Yeah. I'd rather be cutting hair than cutting throats. Well, except for Bill. Well, of course. I throw Bill, yeah. Uh huh. All right, yeah, yeah. Join me or I'll kill you all. Of course you will, laddie. By the way, have you got any duct tape, laddie? We're reattaching the mainsail. Um, no. That's a shame. I guess we'll have to use nails then. How are the repairs coming? Well, lad, things could be worse. Because they don't hate you like some of the others? No, they hate us. All the major holes in the hull will also be adding a hardwood dance floor on the Lido deck. Nice. Hey, it's something we've been talking about for a while. You mutineers at best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing... You'll be driven yes, to guilt. madness by the Guilt them. Guilt them. Make them feel bad. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be just fine, lad. Just fine. I do this all the time. Wait, what do you mean you mutiny all the time? You mutineers at best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing... If ooh, I were killed, ooh, I would that, that's just rude. Oh, by me great aunt Fergus. You be right, laddie. I had best beware. Ah, hi, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't ye be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. Tis but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye. And, and they're barbarous indeed. Hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. Wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. And that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. I don't think anyone's getting into college that's playing this game and nowadays. They're all, uh, too old. I don't think that many kids go back. There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. 
And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies at Tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail... Continuing education? Maybe. Eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole blooming bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. What did you want in exchange for the lotion? We need to seal the hull of the ship, but we're out of tar. Okay, that's if all. If you find a substitute for tar, I'll let you have the lotion. I'll let you get back to work. Steal this bottle. We're gonna need it. Oh my God. Squeaky Shart. That is a classy name. Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. Ooh, I've been there, Pope. I've been there. Oh god, is this the stump puzzle? Hey, a stump. For those unfamiliar with the stump puzzle in the first game, they jokingly said you need disc two and there's no disc two. And uh, everyone had to keep calling the hint line asking where disc two was. Mm, no. Hey, a stump. Hey, a stump. Pretty funny, all things considered. A lot of rubber trees in these areas. It's the beach. I think this is where we want to be. Nobody will know if we steal a cushion, right? Guybrush Threepwood and I'm a... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Yeah, whatever disc it was, uh, Life Forcer, it's, it's just funny. Pick up the recipe book. And we gotta read it. Rum Rogers Rum Surprise. We gotta look at all these. Yellow Beard's Baby. The Bloody Stump. The Blue Whale. Lemon tonic, ooh. One part yellow beards, baby, one part's blue whale. Add cilantro. Yeah, why do you keep adding cilantro? All of these have cilantro in them. Cilantro, 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 cilantro. Who puts cilantro in drinks? The bloated tick. You know, Dalton, the Amazon tick could have been the bloated tick if they got like six more seasons. But instead we got two. Swamp Zombie. One egg, a pepper, hair of the dog that bit you. Mix of alcohol before operating rudders of other heavy machinery. Top secret biscuit recipe. Flour, eggs, yeast, cilantro, and fly larva to taste. Or to say later his friend's aunt, who was charged 500 pieces of eight for a complimentary copy of the recipe and a distributed it in free retaliation. This page intentionally left blank. Oh, okay. Uh, can we take these pickles? Nah, they go straight to my hips. Mmm, pickles. 
It's a picture of a really goofy looking pirate wannabe. Oh, wait. Yeah, the Elaine in the uh, the new game was really good. I liked her. She was uh, trying to help everyone with scurvy. Self roast, my favorite. It is, yeah, 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 it's a good one. Let's talk to the fortune teller. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Oh, it's just you. Ah, please keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush, and you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts, a precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever, tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. I'd like there to hear are it. things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines. <sighs> Giving you the most oh, that's disgusting. I think that imaginable. So are you gonna tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. We don't know if the game will end. Don't spoil it. Jeez. I might be playing this for the rest of my life. life. When assembled, Damn, that's a good animation for the cards. Story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good lord, woman. Stop that screaming. What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is... Death. That's well, not a bad in thing. Tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. Look, a three headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies were true. Well, Heal. I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. Is there anything else? Do you know anything about the lost ring of Blood Island? I sense tremendous sorrow in connection with that ring, and a great part missing. A beautiful diamond. Where's the diamond? I see a dark cave. I wish that worked on the chat. It, like I, I've, I've done stuff like that. Like look over there. They never do. Island in the form. Chat, do you remember the stream where I tried to get you all to look away? I was like, hey, look over there. There's something really cool, so I could just pull something off in a game. And then everyone was like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna fall for it. So the blue coin incident happened. Would you happen to know any good hangover remedies? My people are adept at the art of clearing the foggy head. The process is simple. First, you must find four dozen leeches. Leeches? Then hang the victim upside down from the top of a birch tree. Upside down? Build a fire underneath the victim. Look, I'm never going to let the blue coin incident go, chat. You don't understand. I worked hard to get that blue coin. Excrement? And then it just did Remember fucking nobody looked. Not my fault. The bonfire, chanting in the language of the Mysteriously, everyone looks away. Weird. Nobody this has ever seen that blue coin. Bit weird. What can I say? It works. <laughs> Thanks, but I think I'll try something else. Never mind. Healing turns.
We want to go to here. We gotta be Peter Pepper and pick a pepper. Go to the cemetery. Gotta read these graves. Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. Yeah, if you don't know, weed can kill. Uh, it's very dangerous. If you inject it into your body, it could kill you. Free dirt. Oh, I love free dirt. Your company name here. Whoa, that is a cool dog. Most things can tell you even air. Yes, never inject air. If you inject air into your blood, uh, you'll cause a hole, and the uh, the hole of air will block the blood, and you'll die. That is the thing. They even do that in JoJo at one point. Someone actually has an air bubble stuck inside them, and they're like, "Uh oh." That's how I learned that. Pretty nasty. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. You can hey, pet the dog in this game, as you just saw. He must be shedding. Great, we got the smelly dog hair. I'm sorry, I don't want to do this, but I have to do this. That is done. We gotta get that egg next. So let's use this cushion. Average animal abuse. He did harm those puppies in the first game. I can't reach it. Ever you better hope you shake I can't this the shake right it way. Hard enough with just my hands. In that case, let's try this. Oh wow! Honestly, I'm impressed that worked. this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. Egg. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Eggs. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. Why is it blue? Ah, much better. Yeah, you can take the rest. Alrighty, we've done that. 
Uh, I'd like a drink, please. Sure. All right, I'm going to order like I normally do, which is to say, give me the big fruity one with an umbrella in it. Because let's be real, the girly drinks are the best drinks. And if you do not like the girly yeah, drinks, what's wrong with you? Drink with an it tastes delicious. Good choice. It's a delicious That's true. taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Did you say ground beef? One of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. Okay. Caribbean Body Slam, that's a name. Ouch! Here's your glass back. Dude, he drank the ground beef. Ooh. This game was definitely that era of gross-out humor. Family sized cheese. It's the treasure of Big Whoop. It's a Big Whoop souvenir magnet. Take that. What's, what's the billboard say? Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean, starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera, nightly at seven. I'd love to go to a cabaret club, mostly because of Yakuza. After seeing the cabaret minigame, I'm just like, I, you know, that seems like an experience I would love to try once. Just to say I've done it. So chat, who here has played the first game? Because uh, I don't know if you know this. This village is deserted. How curious. You might, uh, you might be familiar with some of the characters coming up soon. a large cube of tofu. I love tofu. It's a table covered with different fruits and vegetables. Very classy. It looks like kidney pie. You're right. The vegan cannibals are here. Take that measuring cup. Use the measuring cup on the seawater. It yeah, just put the sea water, water in your inventory without a lid. Great fucking job. Head be clear for clearing foggy heads. It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. Well, I can't pull the cork out with my hands. <sighs> I wonder. Hey, that actually worked. A magnet only works on metal. I can't use the cork with that. 
We want to combine the cork. This is the second cork this game. Okay. In. Cool, a cork with a magnetic pin stuck in it. The mind boggles at the possibilities. The pin in the cork is already magnetized. So we have a magnet. Hey, neat, it points north. Science is fun when you know the secret. I I don't think that's how that works, Skybrush. Hey, Starful. Um, this is not a blind playthrough, and if you have been here before, which I know you have, you would know that this is a no spoilers, no backseating stream. It always is. But the tag said. There's no fun in playing a point and click if uh you told me how to play the entire game, what's even the point? Dream tags, I know, right? It's shocking. How are you doing, though, Starfall? Hope you're doing well. You hope Marlene will be okay? You mean Governor Elaine Marley? Nah, she'll be fine. She, well, she won't be fine. She'll make it to Monkey Island four, but I mean, after that, she'll probably be fine. Hard to say. One drink, please. I'd like a drink, please. Sure, sure. I am not famous, but thank you. Let's see. We have to do some stuff. Six first, let's do that. That opened it. Do that. Uh... I'm not hungover. I feel great. It's out. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. This drink is very dangerous. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and don't do this at home thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even... He was right, they did get a few more sequels. Skull. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. Hey, Pantaro. I don't What's feel up? the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... We did it. We killed Guybrush. You can kill him in every game. And the Undertaker says, "I wanted to be a pallbearer." Hey, it's the guy earlier but with I the voodoo. Stop coughing! Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So, what's with the new guy? Mort, the mortician. Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all. Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. Yeah, they made sure to make fun of death. Because, uh, they hated the Sierra games, how unfair it was, and I agree. It's funnier to just make fun of it. Rest in peace and all that. The end. Yeah, this is the end of the game. Scored zero of 800 hey. points. Pretty shitty game. Uh, I hate this. Uh, I don't know why you have to die. What a bad ending. Oh, come on. Cut it out. All right. Hey, chat. Do you want to see some really crazy uh, consistency? We're about to meet everyone's favorite character. Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's 
coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. You guys know who's coming, right? I don't have a horrible secret. Why, it's none other than... Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, well... Uh... Of course! He's Guy been in that Greenwood. since the last game. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... The best oh, character in the series. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son. How long do you think he was but in there? Live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate yeah, he's in every game I lead battles, Huge man -eating They replaced his voice actor because the other guy retired for uh, the new game. Trigger happy duelists. But uh, he's, course, he's still good. Pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome thing... So I guess spoilers for Monkey Island 2. No, uh, you lock him in a coffin at one point, and then you just find him here in the third game, which is just really funny. You. I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. Did you make a business card in a coffin? You've been locked in that coffin. How are you able to have business Thank you. cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you- I love how he's got the chowder effect on his outfit. Let me set up my office. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. Mighty Blues, yo, what's up? Thanks for the raid. Everyone's excited for Monkey Island. Alrighty. Gotta grab some nails. Hope your stream went well. What were you doing today? Needed a refresh. Oh no, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Actually, let me see if there's any more dialogue with Stan. Stan of Stan's previously used vessels and previously used coffins. Now hold on just a minute there, son. Give me a chance to get the office set up. Run along now. Okay, well, I guess that answers that. Hi guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. Not really. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No. No questions like is there life after death or is there a heaven? Nope. Will there be adequate parking? Nope. Fine. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Chris Tales. Crystal's Ponytails? Was that what you were playing? The greatest game known to mankind? Or were you playing one of the Tales of games? No, oh, no, we don't tolerate spoilers around here. I know, right? Spoiling the afterlife? I think it was South Park had a joke at one point where it's like a bunch of people died and it was like, so what was the, what was the true religion? It was it was Mormon and everyone was just like, oh, OK, OK. <laughs> Get a nail this.
Elita, have you played the second game yet? It's pretty good. I really love the new game. A lot of people didn't like the art style of the new game, but honestly, I, I love the art style of the new game. Hmm. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. Yes, take the picture frame too. Why do you still have that? Why did that work? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's funny. What? Might in the future. It's really good. I think I like two better than one, maybe? Two is harder than the first game, but I think it is... A lot of ways is better? It's not random, we got the magic uh, earlier in the game, you have to have that. It's funny. You know this trick, chat. If you want to get into a locked room, always, always use the laminated business card. Credit card I guess I'm works. Better at this pirating thing than I thought. It worked. Alrighty. I've never been to one of these rooms with a bed like this, the pull-out beds. The Good Soups, a life in pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. Good Soup. That's good soup. I can't reach it. Oh no. Hotel Hell? Possibly. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. Luckily, we have one more nail. There. The bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. I want to talk to the Skelly. Hey, Skelly. Well, I wouldn't know what to say. You walked all that way just to say, oh, I don't know. Gross. Is that gross? Is that gross? No, 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 I want I want the cover. Mm, no. You don't want the cover? Coward. Um, I think we have everything we need here. Check the wardrobe. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. The Murphy bed is slammed up so many times it's made a hole in the wall. That's impressive. Quaint. Yeah, for those of you who know lock sure picking, in there except one of those uh, is certain Good. locks that works on. We gotta talk to him now. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. No, I have not, but I've heard of Senor Frogs. Does that count? I've also heard of Rainforest Cafe. Hard times have befallen the family good soup. There was a random video in my YouTube recommendations a few months ago that was, I went to every single rainforest cafe across the country, and here is how I feel about it. And I, I didn't watch the video, but like, my god, the dedication to drive to every fucking rainforest cafe. What do you know about the Lost Ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt Minnie Stroney Goodson Mini Stroney. was a well to do member of Blood Island Society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates. One in particular. He they have one in SoCal. I mean, I can't imagine the food's very good at Rainforest Cafe. I haven't been there in years, but like, then, I don't know. I, I can't imagine the food is good. Stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. 
She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some yeah, I definitely went to one when I was younger, but like, I can't imagine going there as like a, an adult and being like, oh boy. Oh, I'm sorry, I was the safari part. What's the safari part? Lost, shout ahead. I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, eh? Uncle Griswold, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Wild Animal you Park. That's it's cool. You? I've never seen you before in my life. At Disney What's Food, they have like the Epcot chefs. I mean, that's where you go. Wonton is my name. Wonton. Wonton. I spent several years in the Orient. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Oh, Escondido? I don't even know where that is. Night, so the tale goes. The Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon. But the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When he'd rode half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed. And the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare San at Diego. the long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My own regular is a spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, uh, no offense, Fedden Zima. A pax on your first morn. Hmm, yes, right. Hmm. Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Well, that's quite a story. Years ago, this hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. People came from around the globe to see our world-famous dinner show. You may have and Daniel sucks. Oh, I can imagine. Out on the patio. Well, no. I can't believe it started with Denny's and, and now we're going to go to piece of our nightly entertainment. Fucking Isn't Rainforest a Cafe. The attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities. Oh, maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night, the guests would gather round on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock... Um. You'd break out the charcoal lighter fluid? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? I do. I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please, go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt. And the oh my god. Flow down the side of the mountain so and into the special Dalton just sent me a thing. Beneath the barbecue. The guests uh, original Pokemon that. scans. Like accurate scans of the Ken Sugimori art. And like I'm I'm looking at the uh the differences. Oh my god, all the shitty art that everyone hated and, and like loves. We we've what the fuck? This is weird. I'm I'm looking at these. Dalton, if you want to post them, feel free. That's it? A barbecue? That's entertainment? Well, I used to entertain. Like, I'm looking at some of these and I'm just like, what the fuck? Yes. I played the piano and we had Kino. One day, the volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Without our main attraction, the resort just lost its appeal. We've gone downhill ever since, and the volcano hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. Into the thread. Thank you. What happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one. The guest that never left. Is this gonna be scary? Because I warn you. Every night. 
We heard strange noises. You know, Dalton, this place looks like the area they go to in Scooby-Doo Mystery Inc. near the start of the series with the alligator family. Horrible screaming and cursing. Then, one night, the sounds just stopped, but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. Yeah, that sure would be a shame if I, uh, went there. Could you let me into the guest room upstairs? No. It is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Okay. Maybe if you tried a more aggressive marketing scheme. I've tried everything. Pamphlets, stickers, extensive print campaigns. I even tried passing out vials of my own blood imprinted with the slogan Ooh. My parents went to Blood Island and all I got was this lousy plasma sample. That's just gross. Well, with the benefit of hindsight, I suppose it is. Well, maybe if you booked some more entertainers. Oh yeah, entertainers will definitely help. I did a juggling act here a while back, but that didn't work out. Rather a moody guy. Kept talking about suffering for his art and all that. The guests hated him. They actually cheered when he burst into flame during his firewalking act. Damn. Tough crowd. Maybe if you focused on Blood Island's rich history. What history? The island has a windmill and a lighthouse. There's not a whole lot to see. Maybe you should get out of the hotel business. Good suits have always been in hotel management. I've got to do my part to keep the dream alive. Booking rooms and mixing drinks. That's stirring. Excuse me, stirring drinks? No, I meant... never mind. Okay. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Right, let's go upstairs. We're gonna, you know, ruin people's lives again. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. This one? I don't want to cut that. 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 I guess he doesn't want to cut that. Minerva's Stroheim Good Soup. Baroness of Borscht. I don't want to cut that. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. Ah, uh, the Van Salads. I thought the good soups were a homely bunch. I don't want to cut that. Actually, I think... Are we at soup? We are at soup! Soup's on. It is Equinox. How you doing? It's already open. That portrait is covering the porthole. It'd be easier to cut through it from the outside. As it turns out, I stream a lot, actually. Thank you for stopping by.
I do uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday, Sunday. Oh, there's nothing like family. No matter what may happen in the topsy-turvy world of the Caribbean resort business, I can always relax in the knowledge that I come from good wealthies. Monkey Island is a nice chill stream for me. Reading. We listen to the dialogue, we relax. That's what's important. Laugh at the dialogue. Reading and culture. Just like Grandfather Lambert. Reading, culture, and lots and lots of Oh no, of is the bot still down? Oh jeez. It makes a man proud. I told Deef the other day he was going to work on that. It's funny. I don't remember. All right, chat. What's the best soup? You can only pick one. I see someone said chicken Bombay. So common. Oh, weird. It's like his eyes Miso. Good one. Chicken noodle. Pretty good. I've had this like baked potato soup is pretty good. Extremely creamy chicken noodle. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? Now that you mention it, you do bear a slight resemblance to my great grandfather C. Lambert Good Soup. Clammy? My folks back home. Your shadow investigator, you thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Image of old chowder good soup. You know, I think you're right. Uh, I wonder why I didn't see it before. Cheddar broccoli. It's a good choice, good choice. What's that Italian wedding soup? I always hear about that one. Thank you for the raid, Shadow Investor. What were you, uh, what were you streaming today? Hey. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Raid Shadow Legends. I don't think that's a Shadow Legend raid. Welcome on in, though. We're chilling with some Monkey Island today. For those of you here who are new, we do a lot of retro variety around here. We're not usually playing point and clicks, but uh, it's April. We gotta play some monkey games. Hey, Stan. Here's my favorite character. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Yeah, Italian wedding soup. I I've never had it. It's just like, why do they call it Italian wedding? I guess they have it at weddings. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Let's talk to Stan. This guy is the annoying salesman you always hear about and don't ever want to talk to. You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. It's whether you can afford Yeah, not he, he's to. got the chowder effect, Speaking as I call which, it. Can you afford to buy an insurance policy? It's like this in every well, game with how him. How much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend. No, I, I love it. I love the chowder effect. All sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided I think, uh, I love his hands. I have you know, as, as a Jewish guy, uh, we do a lot of talking with your hands, so I, I speak like this at all times, even when I'm streaming. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Married soup. Okay. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Yeah, I don't know how to do the chowder effect, but I'm, I don't even know what it's actually called. I just call it the chowder effect because anyone who knows chowder has seen it. My language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. 
and you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. Hooray! What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow! Wow is right! Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. Did anyone scream about Toho 19? Not yet. Okay, next step. All right, chat, we're gonna die again. Ready to die again? I'd like a drink, please. Right. Hooray! This guy's dead again? Yeah, he's just faking it. No, I'm pretty sure it's the real thing this time. Well, you say so. He's an awfully fragile little fella, isn't he? Poor guy, he's, he's dead. Well, hello. What a surprise you're dropping in like this. Now you see, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is how insurance works. If you die, you can claim your own insurance. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. I was better. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, no. Then it appears that you're just wasting my time. Run along and play now. I'm trying to run a business here. Uh, I think we missed something. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. I think I know what we missed. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we're not falling for it. Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. I forgot to talk to him about one thing. I could just talk about good soup history all day. How about that first fateful journey made to the... I didn't, I didn't mention this. Oh, you mean the one that... Baron Salmon Bisque de Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the West. Is it though? Is Guybrush the villain? I mean, Guybrush is just ruining people's lives, you know? The entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean. Fuck the Van Salad family. I fucking hate the Van Salad family. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the good soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. All right, whatever. Well, son, it looks like you were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. I'm, uh, honored. And as a Good Soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount to any of the Good Soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, of 
course, medical, dental, and the 401k. That's and good. The best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extreme. Guybrush was pretty bad from what I remember in the new game. Like, it's as if all my dreams. Even for Guybrush, he, I think he did some pretty awful things. I'd like a drink, please. All right, let's kill ourselves Coming again. Right Everyone in the game calls him out on it. Yeah, it's great. A sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Oh, oh no. And just as we were getting reacquainted, as his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. The late lamented Wonton Good Soup. Wonton Good Soup. In the Good Soup family crypt. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. We're in the crypt. Yikes. It's Mrs. Good Soup. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Minnie Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. Oh no. What happened? I was the Belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lands adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. Is it one of the vain salads? All my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? Flooring inspector. Oh. Mm, yeah. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship. The guy Rich is known for his uh, flooring I expertise, especially if you played the first two. Engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow, that bites. Oh, I know. Are there any other suitors Were you found attractive? Were there any other suitors you found attractive? Well, <laughs> Would you want to say you're a pirate and date the ghost lady? Young Charles de Goulash. He had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? You know, it's funny. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. What happened to that young man you liked so much? The last time I saw Charles, he had checked into the hotel. You would date a ghost? Would you smooch a ghost? Go into the light. If only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? Uh... No. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. Hey, nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? Mean. That's so I mean, Guybrush. I was like an asshole. Down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. He's such an asshole. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. So I can steal it. He took it. Who took it? My love, my honey cakes, my widow schnoo bombs, my lechuk. 
LeChuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh air. I can't believe you fell for the oldest trick in the book. Where did LeChuck take the diamond? Cad, the fiend. He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island. It's just so humiliating. I could just die. You already did. Since you're uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. Oh, let's explore the crypt. Maybe we could find some good soup. Hope we find some good ingredients around here. It's a universal crowbar. <laughs> what is that giggling? Oh. oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. That's why I love Murray. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. You want to marry you that girl? Any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. Hi, Murray. Oh, it hurts. It's Murray. Hey. I will need him. Probably. Hey. Let's look at the crack. Speaking of cracks, uh, I recently learned something... I, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but uh, I might need a new butt. I, I learned that mine has a crack in it. What am I supposed to do about that? Get some spackle. I don't know if that's a good idea. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the? Why do you have a LeChuck head in your? Okay, whatever. That's a classic. Always cracks you up. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty caked up. I wouldn't say cracked up. Just, just caked up. That's a good shadow puppet. No for that one, bad? What do you, what do you mean, bad? From this wretched tomb. I must be set free or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. Well, now he's going to know where the keys are. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. Oh no, that's evil. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made His me huts on the other side of that crypt. I mean there's only so much space on the island, you know. Uh oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. It's open. Now 
shuffle off and give me peace. And it's useless now that it's out of oil. Might be able to take and use it for something else. I don't know. Penny Plasm? Who the fuck is Penny Plasm? Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Oops. He's getting his evil groove on. Hi guys, I've risen from the deepest recesses of the underworld. Yeah, nobody cares. Your curiosity is over. Nope, nobody cares. So now to be a complete asshole and put Stan out of business. Mighty Magic Swords. I've I've never watched my Mighty, Mighty Magic Swords. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Here you go. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. I'm dead. I really am. Do you have any proof that you're dead? As a matter of fact, smart guy. I do. I've I did die. Right here. A death certificate. Is it faking your own death if uh, you have proof, like legal uh, proof? Uh, it's right there in high res, black and white. I die. Give me a lot of money. Any lawyers in chat able to answer this? Hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I mean. Oh, thanks. Me. Okay. Dan is alright, he didn't even try to cheat you out of it, I suppose. Yeah, just take the mirror out of the frame. Great, that's, that's totally what I wanted to do. Oh, I appreciate you it. You just stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there. Look. Hey, uh, congrats on dying for the insurance money. Hmm, I guess you're right. Oh, hey, you know, Moon. I'm starting to look old. From all that drinking. Mind your own business. It does actually kind of look like the good soup in that picture. They got the same looks. Jars for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's a lot of love. I like that. Always a pleasure to see so much love. Especially for Monkey Island. So we have to keep getting our fortune told. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. I kind of want to get my fortune insist? told at some point. I don't really believe Once in fortune telling, but I think it's it fun. Is death. A 
I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Death. Luck is not involved death. here, guys. It's just gonna be death every time. It's your destiny. Whatever. We need to do this five what times. The card say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Hit me. Death. Death. How many of those cards do you have, anyway? You shouldn't have more than, like, one or two deaths in your tarot deck, I'm pretty sure. Hit me. How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates more. have conspired against you, and no man can... Yeah, tower, tower is the most dangerous one. Has been Guybrush actually okay, says death has actually really changed, but although it also defends if it's inverted death. Because inverted uh, tarot cards are a thing. Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well, demon! Demon! All right, she doesn't want to fucking deal with us anymore. Rightfully so. We didn't really ruin her life. We just stole her tarot cards. Is the umbrella here? He's the worst. Yeah, no, he's he's an asshole. It, it, he ruins everyone's life. If you have met Guybrush and he breathes anywhere near you, he's probably ruined your life. sugar water now or if you're wally he ruins your life over and over it's impressive that he's ruined his life so many times once in the second game this game the new game i don't think he's in the fourth game i haven't played tales from monkey island that's at least three times he's ruined his life it was so mean to him in this game too he was just wally is nothing but nice to him in every game and then he's just like you know what wally i hate you I hope you kill yourself. The Molly just cries. It doesn't go that far, but like, it may bait me as well. He's just like, you're a loser, Wally. I hate you. We already got the peppers, we don't need those. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. Ooh. Questionable dialogue choices. Which ones were you thinking of? The fireflies will escape. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. Yelling and arguing after apparently breaking up. Oh, that one's really good. Dalton, have you ever drawn any Monkey Island art? I feel like that's something that you could really make work with your style. Boy, it's windy up here. Going to the lighthouse. Lighthouse needs a light. For the house. There's no light. Oh no. I fucked up. Uh, whoops. I need to use 
use the jar with something else. I can't use the crowbar with that. Oh no, all the fireflies have suffocated. I haven't chugged a jar full of dead fireflies since college. Totally forgot to use the chisel on the I lid. Holes in the lid of the jar. You should draw Guybrush. I mean, yeah, he's the best Uncharted character. It's already got plenty of sugar water in it. How do I dump my water? I actually don't know. I forgot. Oh, geez, I really fucked up here. I'm afraid the salt in the seawater might corrode the screw on metal top. I need to use the jar with something else. I don't have a way to get this off. I can't use the magnet with that. That doesn't need to be augured. Uh, chat, does anyone know how to open this? Because I, I, I actually have no clue. There's no light. I can't use the jar. I can't use the jar with that. Uh, this is a problem. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Actually, really don't know how to get rid of this. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm like, well, how the fuck do I get rid of this? Do you need to refill it? I tried that. Uh, it says I, I don't need more sugar water. I can't use the crowbar with that. That doesn't look hungover at all. Dump it in the spittoon? That's a good idea. I can't use the jar with that. Oh my god, game. What the fuck? What do you mean? Try to refill it with more flies? I don't think you can. I could try. I don't think he's gonna put it out. Oh, that was as simple as that. Okay, never mind. Fuck you too, Lucas Arts. I've played too many of your games that it was the simple solution. They're trapped inside and glowing like. In all. In all fairness, if you have played a LucasArts game, you will agree. Yes, the, the the simple solution is almost never the answer. Perfect. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot to do a thing. The lighthouse is working now. Go. Mysterious figure. This was the era game you would have died during the other two solutions. That's true. 
breathing would kill you in a Sierra game. What was the solution? Just go get more fireflies. Who are you? I... I am the lost Welshman. Nice Ooh. to meet you. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will never again dare that wretched fog without a compass. Good thing we have a compass. Once too often did I tempt fate. And just look what it did to my clothes. Just look at me. I'm soaked. Well, you, you don't know, look that I wet. To have a compass right here. I do like the idea, though, of then, death holding mortal, a life vest. I will it's really silly. The way. Rough seas and untold dangers await you on the mysterious Skull Island. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. Death is all about safety. Yeah, it's safety first, but they never say what comes after the safety. Like, what's what's step number two? Safety first, danger second, excitement. Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this. Place. Nah, Lucas Arts would never Steal reference Yodo or anything now. Star Wars. Why, why would they do that? You think they just the terrible, own the rights? Face of Skull Island. Ooh, that's... That's a duck. Very scary what duck. About? Don't you see the skull? No. This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... I'm doing that myself right now. It does not look oh, like that. Oh, scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. That's what I was about to say. Anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Oh, damn. That's fucked up. You can't just say that. I Man, I just roast all my friends that have gone bald lately. I'm just like, man, why are you so bald? Sorry, Hampy. Hampy's probably watching this and crying. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember... They shouldn't be bald. I you know, Ryan is bald ball. now, Dalton. He think. shaved his head. The cave is halfway down this sheer I'm just like, please turn off light mode when I enter his stream. I'll, I'll he gets I'll real fucking down. mad. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. Good. I hope he cries. I hope Ryan cries. I don't want to make Campy cry, but I'll, I'll make, uh, make Ryan cry. I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? You'll well, be fine. sure about this? Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Whoops. Air transplant okay, surgery or something along slack. those lines, I'll shave my head. Ah. Damn. We gotta do that again. Still say it looks like a duck. <laughs> Wait, 
We have to open the umbrella. F it, LaFoot. Yes? Let's try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. All right. What is Guy Rush made of? Rubber? I, I think uh, made of brush. Please be careful. Yeah, for those who don't know, Guy Rush is actually no like problem. a temp name. I've mentioned this in any, any of the other Monkey Islands I've played. They just got attached to the temp name from the art program they were using. I got it. I don't got it. God damn it. You're supposed to use the umbrella there. I guess they want me to like use it like the normal way you use it, not like click it on him. Yes. Do you think you'll be able to lower me down this time? Yeah, guy dot brush. All right. <laughs> I, I think I'm and then they were just like, you know what? That's a good name. So it's so not a normal name, and it's so silly that it works. Whoops. There we go. Mary Poppins your way through that puzzle. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. It is pretty embarrassing. Oh, let's talk, Mr. Uh... Van Gorder Fashington, Jethro Van Gorder Fashington. Very well, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. Fair enough, I fair enough. I am Andre, and this is my associate Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Oh, that's unfortunate. All pirate, all pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> You're evading the whole diamond issue. The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So okay. So can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. Okay. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. He will never understand. You expect me to talk? No, I expect no, you to die. Mr. Threepwood, I expect you to buy. Okay, that's even better. Your evil plan will never work, Andre. But it is flawless. A carefully placed series of charges laid throughout Blood Island, all controlled by a network of satellites in geosynchronous orbit. And only one man has access to the master switch. Me. Of course. I am that man, and boss. Yes, Yo, Wang, what's up? How's Extending the Elden Ring going? The evil lamp play? Ah, yes, of course. You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> Is it madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island? Accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals. Stuck what is a roll of gotcha? It doesn't work right now, so don't bother. It's me helping Deef uh, test a special thing, but it doesn't work at the moment because the bot's down. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. Full rush to your final gear. So I hope you uh, the co-op went well. Assuming you're done. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. 
I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Third biome well, and I second biome? Okay. <laughs> Not enough. I wouldn't know. I've never played Elden Ring. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes. So this is why we needed the Skull Tarot cards. <laughs> Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threefoot, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. Let's do this. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threeport? No. I can have. I believe this is my very first time. <laughs> Four death cards. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that would be too easy. We're going to play five death cards. Ideal five cards start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course I trust you. Very well. What should you do with them? I don't know. Whatever you want. Daddy needs to lift a pirate curse. Damn. Take that's, a moment to look at your cards. That's impressive. give him the weak hand or we could just give him these tarot cards five of a kind right there not even you guys can beat five of a kind i don't know how he did that mr threepwood we cannot beat five of a kind the question remains however whether or not you can beat a pair a pair a pair of murderous smugglers huh us, Mr. Threepwood. I'm talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen. Let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew out the lights! <laughs> I, got the <laughs> I forgot about this. Not for long, you little... Who are you calling a poor? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. He does kind of look like Fry a There's little bit. There's one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Wait, wait what are you doing? Help! Help! Ah! Oh my god, I think he just murdered that guy. Yeah, that guy's never seen from a guy. I think he actually just killed him. Good the body count in Monkey Island is now one. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. What the fuck? I don't remember that at all. Stable, secure line of work. I cannot believe I he seriously no fucking killed chef. someone. On Scab Island. Hey, that's pretty funny if well, you played the last missed. game. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. Ah, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass like properties for a short time. Oops. I guess we accidentally ruined someone's life that time. I'm sure it's fine. Meanwhile, somewhere beneath Monkey Island. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? 
Nope. Nope. She's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me Guy Brush Drapewood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean. If God, I love his flame beard. His new design Elaine. is really good. And more slaw! Curse those villains. They never give you enough slaw with these bagu meals. I want my slaw. You had your slaw, sir. I want my slaw. You had your slaw, sir. I haven't thought about that in forever. That one episode of Invader Zim where they're arguing about the slaw. I want my slaw. Hey. We're about to be a complete a complete asshole here. Get this. Oh my god, that poor skelly. I guess that's why you couldn't take that earlier. Congrats on the husband. What the fuck? Were you alive? I didn't hear you come in. I was just with Charles. Charles de Goulash, is it really you? Minnie, it's been so long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. Oh, Guybrush is one of the worst people in video games. You, we were alone together on such a romantic night. Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh, he's a boner, all right. I mean, that's, that's a skelly for you. Oh, yes, Charles. Yes, a thousand times yes. Then kiss me, my love. <laughs> Why do you have lips? You're a skeleton. Pick up this ring. Did you look shocked? I guess. Meanwhile, on Monkey Island. God. The kill count in this game is higher than I remember, which is to say five. Ah, another group of recruits for my Seven actually. Two people were turned into skellies earlier. Now, the search for my bride to be. Where's Dingy Dog? I found him! I found him! <laughs> oh golly, oh gosh! <laughs> That's right! Uh, they're on Blood Island, sir. Blood Island! Them. All right. Use some of this cheese. Cheese to meet you.
one giant process wheel. Yeah. Let's take the block of tofu. That is some slippery tofu. Probably didn't even press the water out of it. That looks like a mask. Ick. Yeah, that's a good disguise. Nobody will ever see it. Cheese to meet you. Don't worry about the drinks. They're on the mouse. The classic. It's on the mouse. That would cure my depression if I was depressed and like a little mouse came out and said that it's on the mouse. A little beer on top of them. Here they are. It's the cannibals from the first game. Here's Lemonhead. I think that's his name. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis. Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids. So that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village. And not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you, and good night. Yeah, I was right. His name is Lemonhead. You feed the volcano mannequins made from vegetables? Yes, we do. Sherman isn't a strict vegetarian, but fatty foods can cause him severe... Yeah, it's a, the volcano is a he, by the way. Even volcanoes can have genders. But here's the thing, uh, chat, this is a vegan volcano. Would it be a really dick move to ruin a vegan's diet? Would it be really mean to throw this in? I mean, imagine, I, I've seen a friend of mine accidentally eat meat who was vegan and he didn't realize it and then he like, I think it like destroyed his body. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Oh, I'm you sorry, it was lactose cheese. intolerant. You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! I mean, I knew the volcano had uh, a lactose intolerant. <laughs> I always wanted to see wow. a volcano up close. Was more spectacular than I'd hoped. There was an episode of AVGN where uh, one of the ways he actually destroyed one of the games was throwing it into a volcano, like a real volcano, which is kind of cool. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Beer, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Ah, yeah, nacho cheese. I laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? I lad, go ahead and take it. The greasy, slippery hand lotion. I, I remember this being named this. Ah. <sighs> 
Always with the grease in this game. They, re they really like grease in Monkey Island. There's a lot of chicken grease. Ghostly chicken grease in the new game. Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. There's something big, shiny, and cursed keeping me from putting on this ring. The cursed ring exploded. Oh, well, that was convenient. There we go. Oh, Guybrush absolutely right? killed some people. Guybrush? When? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Oops. Well spoken, pet. We're close what to the end. There's two parts left, and they're both pretty short. For when you scream, I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be. You really only spend a lot of time on two islands. It was not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. It's a terrible nightmare. It was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh no. It can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. I, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine. A treasure. Oh, that's very nice of you. You're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with you. I really hope it's just a t-shirt, because I don't remember what it is, and like, don't spoil it, but... I, I want to say it's just a t-shirt that's just like, I, I found the treasure of Big Whoop, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, because that would be the most Monkey Island thing. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood. But I tell thee. I thought I saw you play Return. I did. I don't remember if they had the treasure. Okay. I genuinely don't. I, I know they show a scrapbook of like old stuff. Yeah. No. We we talked about it earlier a few times. That's uh that's Scrooge McDuck. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did. Down to the inky blackness of the infernal. It's one of the other roles he did, and honestly, he did a great job in this game. Who pass through it? The greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to. But it be worth everything. That smells now very that burnt. I have the power to make Elaine love me. But if you kill Elaine, this won't one. she hate you even more? You think he smells like sulfur? Just the nasty smell? Sulfur smells disgusting. What a grand gift eternal life be. And besides, the dating pool be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. This whole amusement park, why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most 
brilliant idea. Was it? Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. Big yeah, honestly, White. the voice acting was just such and a natural fit. Like, that. they picked such good roles I for every character. And the fact that they went back and, and did, uh, an they did the dubs for the first two games, No Moon, is fantastic. Because they're in the remasters, okay, and why an yeah, it just fits. Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. Everyone knows that the life of a seaman is a long, hard, I like the new voices too they got for Return and like you know LeChuck R.I.P. Uh, his voice actor recently passed away in January but uh, before that he gave his blessing to uh, the new guy because obviously he was too old to do the work. Stan I think also gave his blessing. Uh, a family oriented fun park. Oh that <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak, and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. How did you find Big Whoop? How did you find Big Whoop? That'd be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Of course. Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on then. Back when I were alive, Elaine despised me. He still does. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary... I highly recommend the new game, though, if you like the series, Chad. It's not one to start with, but uh, definitely play the new one if you like the games. What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret I know the Monkey answer Island. because I played the newest game. I could tell you. I mean, obviously that wasn't the case at the time. Bro was put as a sled. The guy's girlfriend is really a man. Hey, 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 this is a dated joke. Shoot the dog at the end that's made from pee. I love all, all these are just movie references. that a sequel can never be as good as the original? Lies! Filthy, dirty lies! No, it goes much deeper than that. It's hey, an Mr. King, what's up? secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happen to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right, then. Let's get on with your story. A few days after setting sail, my ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with no hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought me luck had run out. At least he's but honest. Day, For a pirate? That's, you know, it's impressive. Blood Island. Was the ship of one Captain Mark. All right, chat. Who who would win though in a fight? Monkey D. Luffy I struck up a or LeChuck? With Rum Rogers Senior, first mate on the ship. Now, can Luffy outsmart LeChuck? That's that's really the ultimate question I here. That they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Wolf. You think Luffy would win? Although I, I don't know about no that. And no money. I don't feel like Hold Luffy on. is a smart guy. Rubber burns, but LeChuck is really dumb. It's kind of an idiot. Is LeChuck an idiot? I don't know about that. Can I sit down? Both my legs are going to sleep. Although I had no ship and no money, I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship. His enemy is Guybrush, so he just looks clever. That could be it. That could be. I'd have to see him with someone else. I feel like Luffy is also pretty dumb and wouldn't be able to solve most of his puzzles. 
Now here's the thing, here's the better question. Guybrush or Luffy? Do you think Guybrush can outsmart Luffy with some really stupid trick? That your presence makes dumb people seem much smarter. But I still had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable... Guybrush can hold his breath for 10 minutes. Yeah, and you know what the funny thing about that is? Luffy cannot hold his breath for any amount of minutes underwater because he will die. She would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I pried the diamond from her family's engagement ring. He's also mastered the sword. That's true. He could easily beat Zoro in insult sword fighting. Zoro would have nothing on him. You big old bedwetting duty. Do this one. Hmm, I've been called worse. With my new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. What happened to Captain Marley and his crew? That gets Their revealed in the fourth game. Monkey Island, a half hour after mine. So it turns out in the fourth game that Herman Toothrod is Captain Marley. They watched me pass through the port of Big Whoop. I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. It kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense with a lot of the stuff from the other games. Fled the island in terror. Marley tore his treasure map into four pieces and gathered his crew around him. There was Rum Roger Sr., the first mate, Rap Scallion, the cook, and young Lindy, the cabin boy. I think these are all in the fourth game. A piece of the map, keeping one I mean, the second game. Himself. Yep. They promised to guard those map pieces with their lives. I definitely remember Rum Rogers. Saw to it that they the, a lot of the stuff he's describing is the second they game. They were the only people alive to know about Big Whoop. What happened to Rum Rogers Sr.? He was taking a bath in his cabin near Fat Island. Yep, Fat Island. Drinking rum and eating toast, as he always did while bathing. Yeah, I, I like that it's the third game. It's it's meant to be the third game, so there are two third games, and both of them are good. His son inherited the map piece, but was too much of a drunkard to understand its importance. <laughs> what happened to Rapt Scallion, the cook? He left the oven on, Rapt remember? Rapt Scallion died in a flash fire in his weenie hut on Scab Island. That's right. I brought him back to life with a voodoo spell. I remember it so vividly. Yep, there it is. Ooh. Same animation, too. A really good animation. Guybrush. Oh, I'm sorry. I was miles away. What were you saying? I knew about I'd also like to point out that uh, thanks to... I think it was Force Unleashed 2. I think it's Force Unleashed. It might be Force Unleashed 1. The uh, the game where you play as... Uh, I think his name is Starkiller. Guybrush actually is a playable character, and he is a Jedi as a result. What became of young Lindy, the cabin boy? Fearing for his life, he came to me and begged for mercy. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, Guybrush is a, a Jedi. A big whoop. I let him live. I think it's Force Unleashed 2, I want to say. I gave him a fortune, which he used to build a successful advertising firm. Yeah, his name's Starbrush. Once he had grown accustomed to his wealthy it's lifestyle, two? Okay. I returned to collect That's pretty cool. Debt. I delivered to him an account so demonically ill-conceived. I never did play the second game. I played the first one and it was great, and the the DLC was incredible for the first game. Because the DLC for the first game was basically, you are now Vader, because you kill Vader, and you're going to do things that Vader couldn't do. So let's go kill, like, Obi-Wan, let's go kill Obi-Wan's ghost, kill Boba Fett, kill a bunch of other people. Guybrush Three Killer, that was his name. What fate befell Captain Marley? I ambushed him while he was racing in the America's Cup. I boarded his ship and decided to let him determine his own fate. He could grant me his blessing to have his granddaughter's hand in marriage, or he could suffer a death more horrible than any of his crewmates. Well, what'd he say? Actually, he said quite a few things. Oh, the pain. Stop it, you're killing me. 
and some other things. I forget them all. I left him for dead and sent his ship into a whirlpool not even the most accomplished captain could escape. You're unbelievably ghastly and wretched. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? That's a good reason. Me. There will be no more Monkey Island sequels. There will be no more Monkey Island sequels. No sequels means no work for you. You'll become just another has-been that nobody's heard of. Oh, that could never happen to me. I'm LeChuck. Do you know the name Bobbin Threadbear? Uh, no. <laughs> exactly. Oh, shit. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. What happens if I say this? Don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me, you'll ruin our reputation for making family-oriented games. We'll be scorned by parent watchdog groups everywhere. What'll you threaten me with next? Some ludicrous Senate subcommittee investigating violence in the media. Well, I'm shaking in me boots now. Hey, they love their deep cuts here. Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me, you'll crush the hopes of children all over Unfortunately, the world. LeChuck hates children. Millions. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that Elaine and I are together. And you are out of the picture for good! Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me, you'll be in really big trouble. I'm one of the walking dead! Formed not of flesh and blood, but of fire and brimstone. How could I be in any more trouble? Yeah, well. I've heard enough of your right. stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. La 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freeport. Actually, you know, I know exactly how Guybrush would beat Luffy, what he would do. He would somehow curse him with the sea stones. Yikes. And just like sink him in the water, but not realize he's doing it. He's just gonna like, oh I found these handcuffs. And that's just the end of it. <laughs> it's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. Oh no, he's become marketable. He's taken Elaine on his roller coaster of death. I've got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. He looks like Beavis. I, you know, I thought he looked like Beavis earlier. Head foggy, can't think. I'm swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. How can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? Oh, if only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, Silver, what's up? The Smuggle Bunny. The Anchor. Dingy Dog. No flatulence flocks or uh, Ku Klux Klan. Classic Simpsons characters. Well, I like the guy, but this is getting ridiculous. Yo, Murray. Hey, it's you. Are you dead yet? You look different. Not dead, Murray. Just cursed. Cursed. That's perfect. My goal when it comes to the name. I don't remember it being in this game. I think it's in one of the other ones. Forces together, and together we can rule the world. 
Yeah. Let me get back to you on that. Hey, get your mouth away from that cannon, kid! <laughs> I didn't mean it's to do dangerous. that! I meant to talk to the rat. You. Yeah, kid, what is it? Yikes, what is that horrible smell? It's a giant rat suit, you little brat! What did you expect, roses? Uh, that makes sense. Am I the only one nauseated by that terrible stench? Okay, okay, the suit smells. We've heard it! Everybody just come over and pick on the giant rat man. You gotta watch out. The giant rat is the one who makes all the rules. What are you guys doing here? It's blow the man down, the most fun in the midway. Hit the funny clown and win a fantastic prize. Watch the pies fly from the cannon with blinding speed and loud report. And if your aim is true, go home with your winnings. Join in the laughs with your happy sailor host, Warfred, and his pal, Monty Meringue. What Monty flavor? Meringue, that's a good name. What? What flavor are the pies today? I oh, I wouldn't know. I, I haven't even played Xeno 3. What kind of a stupid question is that? What in the world is meringue? I don't know, kid. Whipped egg whites, I guess. I think it actually is whipped egg whites. Meringue is so good. Oh, I should make a meringue. I should. I should surprise Lonely with that. Lonely, don't don't listen to this. They have Germa in this game. Yeah, that's what Germa looks like. Germa face reveal. What's Dingy Dog really like in person? He has an actor you play. Uh, like I'm you know, he, he's doing ventriloquism. Not that's not actually Germa. That's just the actor the they hired. And mighty Dingy Dog. Could you, uh, introduce me to Dingy Dog? No, I can't. Now go away. Dingy Dog's really cool, huh? Oh yeah, he's a regular saint. So much more gifted a performer than any common old giant rat. Give a guy a big dog suit and he turns into a, a freaking prima donna. I bet Dingy Dog gets paid a lot of money, right? He's such an yeah. asshole. And so what if he does? It doesn't take any talent to make a big puppy dog appealing. Now, getting children to hang around a giant rat. <laughs> That's odd. Well, I bet his suit doesn't stink either. You know, you're really starting to bug me, kid. I bet Dingy Dog could beat you up. Could not. I bet he could. I'll tell you what, kid. Why don't you go take a swipe at him and then come back here and tell me what happened, huh? Okay. Never mind. Let's talk to Diggy. A powerful rat named Giant Wharf Rat. Are you the real Diggy Dog? <laughs> you bet I am, and I'm here to make sure you have fun, fun, fun. What's your name, little boy? Okay, for starters, I'm not a little boy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Sure you are. Don't shiver me timbers, that's well. Don't you patronize me. Well, <laughs> it sounds like you've learned a very big word. You're a very bright little man. <laughs> That's well. <laughs> Laugh while you can. Soon I'll destroy LeChuck and your entire world will lie in ruin. You bet. Roll along and play now, son. <laughs> oh no, he's really gonna do I'd the like Karen. To speak to your manager. Oh no, you don't, little boy. <laughs> Just the sight of my manager has caused children older than you to burst into tears. I really want to talk to somebody in charge. No can do, son. <laughs> I need to get on the roller coaster. I'll bet you do. <laughs> it's fun. But that ride's only for bigger kids. I don't care if it's not safe. I have to ride it now. Oh, no, 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 son. <laughs> it's not that it's not safe for little kids to ride. It's just not it's safe just ever. You've got to be much, much older to really appreciate the sheer mind-numbing terror of the coaster. <laughs> but wait a few years and 
You'll have matured enough to ride. You'll also be able to buy candy and eat it whenever and wherever you want. Oh, dude, I should buy some candy. <laughs> Just like us grown-ups can. How can I win one of these fabulous prizes? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch. It's just that easy. Let's try age. I'll bet you can't. We can guess trick him with the uh. <laughs> bet you I the fact that we're a kid now. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be twenty. <laughs> well, do you have any proof for your old pal Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> I have my proof right here. Scum Actors Guild membership card. Guybrush Threepwood, age 20? I suppose you're right. <laughs> Pick your prize. That was convenient. We want the anchor. Give me that anchor. Well, take it away, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here at Big Wolf. Look into your heart. I'm the prize you really want. Nah, I don't want you, Murray. Sorry. Free me, my brother, and together we can rain terror across the land. Come on, pick me. What? You pick the anchor? It's a really nice anchor, Murray. Sorry. Oh, you know, yeah, the Star Wars never ends. I can't believe you picked that stupid anchor instead of- Hey, what do you think you're doing? I just want one of those pies. Yeah? Well, I just want out of this stinking rat head. Life's tough, kid. Cope. What good is a dumb hunk of iron anyway? Oh, okay, I think I know what we have to do. I've got a pie pan full of shaving cream. Now it's a heavy pie pan full of shaving cream. It's so dangerous. After all we've been through together. Let's murder someone. What are you doing over there? I found this pie, mister. Huh? Oh yeah, thanks, kid. Shoot it, shoot it. Not right now. Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire. Beat cheeks, half pint. Look, man, I pay your salary. You want me to tell the Chuck you've got unhappy kids running around here? Okay, okay, you little. He's got a point. <coughs> Did you just hear something? No. Weird. Maybe it's the acoustics of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. God, the monkeys are pulling him away. Fine. Take the stupid anchor. You would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. I, I probably would have. I'm going to wait for an owner who understands my need to bring fear and pestilence on the likes of you. You gonna keep going? Here before I call up the demonic legions of Hades and set them upon you like a swarm of angry locusts. That it? If you value your life, mere mortal, you will flee before Murray, scourge of the living, and Uber Skull. Uber Skull. Alright, that should be the end of it. Let's look through the hole. Yoo hoo, stinky Mr. Rat. Hey, get out of there, you little punk. What are you gonna do about it, vermin boy? This'll teach you. <laughs> All right, now to be an asshole. You may say, but we were always an asshole. That's what Guybrush does. Don't ever
never do this. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. Come on now, stop hitting your pal Dingy Dog. Ding Dog's so nice though. I'm not gonna warn you again, kid. <laughs> you better cut that out. Yeah, you're really starting to bug me, kid. All right. <laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. Oh my god. Ow, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. Uh, you're not getting that hair back. It's my hair now. Take that pepper mill. What kind of snow cones do you have? <laughs> what kind of cones did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most. Can I get a boneless snow cone? Snow cone? In, in fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. Let me list some for you. I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime, cones with slime, <laughs> veggie cones, wedgie cones, hedgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's hedge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones, and the Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have ligma flavor? No, no, we just have the Steve Jobs flavor. Hmm. A no cone with left beef. Would, would you buy a no cone? It's like a snow cone. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. Except, uh, there's nothing in it. Just, you're basically just getting the paper. Bye now. Mmm, hairy. That meringue looks tasty. Disgusting snow cone. Let's eat it. It's a disgusting snow cone topped with synthetic hair from a dog that bit me, fluffy whipped egg whites, and fresh ground pepper. So if you remember from earlier, this is the uh, hangover cure. Ooh. Ew. The pepper helps though. Uh, brain freeze. <laughs> Skybrush kicks butt once again, and now we're in the last act. Too late for me to get out. Oh no. I gotta loop around. Stuff from the second game. Even though that's Herman Tooth Rot in both of those now, due to retconning. I think that's actually the real Wally. I do love this as a concept. Where are they? Look up the fallen rope. Oh, geez. This part of curse? Yeah, we're at the end. She told me she was just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. I can't even believe that I fell for that one again. 
Now stand still, boy, so I can flame broad. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Too late for me to get out. What do you mean it's too late for you to get out? No, 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 no. Go back. I mean, it's better than the ending of Monkey Island 2. The ending of Monkey Island 2 is awkward. It's just RNG. You just pray you go to the right place. Monkey Electric. Oh, it is actually a real uh, animatronic. It's a real fake Wally. Where it was the real one. It does look like it is. Hmm. Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the tracks. I she'll be the death of me yet. I mean, again. <laughs> the death of death. But curses if I can't help but love the little woman. Eat flame and death, my good. Well, this is awkward. I can't do anything. Oh. It's a Yeti, uh, or as it's called in this, the Snow Monkey. There, it's soaked in oil and probably highly flammable. Cool. All right, now to ruin someone's life again. Earning his unlife, earning his death. Well, that's that's game. And that was the last we'll ever see of LeChuck. He will never come back ever. Definitely not in at least three more games. Yeah, Mew, if you're curious, the first two Monkey Islands are on YouTube. Uh, as well as the newest game I also covered. I got sponsored to play that one. They're very good. Definitely watch the first two and then watch the newest one. Yeah, this game uh, really holds up well. The only part of this game I don't like is... Honestly, I, I really hate the part with the sailing. Run, mortal, but do not that was Wally if you tried to talk to him. I believed it. Mark my words. I, I noticed the word said that, but I was like, nah, it's probably you. the real one anyway. Do I was thinking to myself, like, it probably is. It's better this way. It's it's what Guybrush would have done. He would have not cared and ruined someone's life. Honestly, the ending kind of sucks. This is so unfair. Uh, what can I say about this game, though? The art, incredible. I love this art style. I love what they did with the voice actors. R.I.P. LeChuck, Earl Bowen. 
Did a great job. Asteroid this year. I like the islands you go to. I wish El Pollo Diablo was in this game. The Barber Pirates are fantastic. Donkey Island games, except for four, are pretty much always good. I, I never got to play Tales, but I like these games a lot. There's just something about the writing and the shaping of my humor that uh, really works well. I love point-and-click adventure games. Uh, are there any point-and-click adventure games, chat, that you would be interested in seeing at some point? Because I've covered four Monkey Island games at this point. Toonstruck. So I said at the start of this stream, I've streamed Toonstruck, but I, it was years ago and it was before I archived stuff, so I do need to stream that one again. I do have it. That is one I will do at some point on stream. I've never done any of the Sam and Max games on stream. Maybe on June 9th, uh, you know, that's 6-9. Maybe, uh... Maybe we, uh, we play Day of the Tentacle. But, but, ah, it's entertainment. That's, that's a different thing. King's Quest, I do want to do 5 and 6 for King's Quest. Uh, Dark Seed 2 I want to do around October. That game is... Fucking terrible. I've got a few point and clicks I definitely want to do. Monkeys are listening. Play the new game. That's my recommendation. Uh, it's really good. Both of these games are great Monkey Island 3s in their own way. Virtual Springfield. I don't think that's really a game you could beat, but I can check it out. That's like a Sunday stream for me. Because I've seen Virtual Springfield. Yeah, I feel like some of these credit things are made up, like variable bitrate adaptive pulse code mo modulation. With dynamic error correction. Sounds real enough to be fake. Like I just made this up. But I hope you guys like this. Uh, always a pleasure to play silly LucasArts games. find someone to uh, raid. I know who we could raid. Uh, we're gonna raid with Look Behind You, a three-headed monkey. Thanks for the stream, have a good night all. Classic Monkey Island uh, joke. We're gonna raid uh, Sam Sam. Sam Sam is doing uh, Chrono Trigger Blind, and Chrono Trigger is a great game. We're gonna show him some love. He loves Monkey Island. Uh, it's a shame he couldn't be here. This was a lot of fun though. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday for Community Night. It is my choice, so I get to pick the game. Friday, um, start something else, maybe Metroid 2, I don't know, we'll do uh, the 3DS one though, if we do. Sunday, we might be doing Breath of the Wild crowd control, because I want to play Breath of the Wild on stream at some this point, carnival is great, Dad. before it the, sure uh, oh hold on, let me cancel the raid. But you know, rumor has it that the man who built this place is buried here. And they say that to this day, his frozen body remains in the tunnels somewhere beneath the amusement park. Okay, now I can properly do the raid.
Yes, um, that is the end. Uh, we are probably going to do Breath of the Wild crowd control, just so I can do one Breath of the Wild stream and fuck around. I think it'll be fun. Oh, Sam Sam is ending. Never mind. We will not raid Sam Sam after all. Uh, let's raid someone that I actually have never raided. We're going to raid uh, Grunt. He is a New Zealand streamer, and he usually d does not stream at this hour. And he also just ended. Fuck, why is everyone ending? God damn it. Dude, everyone is ending. I hate this. Oh my god. Alright, well, in that case... You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll raid Frowny. Frowny goes on for a while. I, I can't believe two people were both ending at the same time, so I'm just like, nope, can't raid them. Alright, whatever. We're raiding uh, Agent Frowny. He's doing Earthworm Gym and Mystic Quest. I need to go to bed. Good night. See you guys next time.